during your live event, play back. Coming, we're coming. coming. All right. Here we are. Hey, Sammy, thanks for holding the fort down, buddy. Oh, we don't have a light on. Uh oh. I got it. I got it. Do I got it for my. Color balance anything? Color oh, balance we didn't it? focus on all that stuff either. You gotta come color balance. Hey, everybody, we'll be. I can't. <laughs> the mon <laughs> Flip that monitor over so we can see what we're doing. Here, I get it. Yeah, okay. Hey, we'll be right with you. Right with you. We're color balancing the picture so that you actually can so, see it. Excuse my back as we do this. Yeah, here you go. Do we need to move Sammy? Yep. Get Sammy out of the way. Sammy's got to go. Oh, it's my glasses. Oh, shit. Okay, we'll be right with you, folks. This is Reality Art Studio. Where we and just this is reality. <laughs> reality is it just takes a long time to <laughs> set this stuff up. Camera, focus. All right, so you can kind of see. Focus people there. don't understand there's a production involved in getting any of this to, to, to happen, but John's going to be getting a lesson today. We're going to finish his his gate painting today. I want to wish everybody happy Easter. We haven't had a chance to do much, but if you're just uh, kind of tuning in, waiting for the show to start, this is uh, you're getting sort of a behind the scenes, which is reality Literally, arts. the back of me. You got yeah. my back. The reality art studio. And uh, which is sort of fun. We're gonna be almost ready. It's raining. I oh, hope we roll the windows up in the car. Yeah. Mine is. Oh. Yours is gone. I think you took your car. Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Oops. And thanks for letting me know that's gonna be redone. There we go. All right. Everything's turned on. Sounds on. Gosh, let's just fall down here a second. Tripping over all this stuff. What the crash you hear is me falling on the floor. What we were supposed to do is clean up the day, but you guys talked us into a lesson. All right, What's here you trip go. On? This? Well, <laughs> what didn't I trip on? <laughs> <laughs> Look around. I saw like a maid is getting in here, like a rabbit warren. A rabbit what? Warren. What's a rabbit warren? Warren, rabbit warren is like um, like where rabbits live. It's called a warren. Huh. Didn't know that? Hey, you can see our shirts. You can't see our heads, but look at this. To we, be or not to be. We have matching shirts. Can you see that? Is that cool or we what? Can, we can squat down. All right. Well, sit down and I can still see it. Well, no. I'm going to put my. I'm protecting mine. I'm painting in mine. That's why I buy these t-shirts so I can get paint on them. They're cuter when they have paint. See? To be or not to be. And it's two pencils. We love it. Okay. So. Today, we're going to venture forth. Okay, we're going to finish our um, we're going to finish our garden gate, which is kind of fun. We're going to look looking forward to that. We should probably see if anybody's on. Can you slide over just a little bit so I can get in. Sure. Watch your toes. I'm watching toes. We got anybody on in the group here? I don't can know you, yet. Can you see? No, I can't see yet. Ah, look at all the stuff I got in front of me. Well, you could move something. I'm going to put out the stuff while we're you're, you're yeah, fooling around here. Fooling around. You're fooling around. I'm going to put the stuff out. Titanium white. We know we're going to want that. And uh, this is the time when Ginger teaches John. John has never painted before he, um, well, he did watercolor. But he's never done acrylic. So when he came down to Houston, I promised I'd teach him to paint. And we're so busy, we never have time. So now we're just taking the time. And we thought we would just, rather than just uh, give him his private lesson, we thought we'd share it with you. Because sometimes uh, what someone very new to acrylic painting will do, I won't even remember. It won't even occur to me you might do that. So John's going to be doing some of these things, and then maybe you've done them too. And then when I show a solution to whatever it was that um, isn't working as good as it could, then it's got a solution for you too. Well, hey, happy Easter, everybody. Thanks for joining us, and hope you're 84. having a nice... I'm 84. Thanks. You know, these, these RAS things, are uh, we understand, aren't... You know, not everybody wants to sit here and watch John paint, but 
you know, if you're really interested in acrylic lessons, the thing I will say about our channel is that I explain stuff. I show you how it works. I might show John how it works. And if he doesn't understand, I'll ask. He'll <laughs> ask, and we'll do it again. And, you know, one time, some years ago, I took a, I got this computer program on how to play the piano. It came with the keyboard, and, um, uh, and then there were these lessons. And, you, you could, I could plug it in so no one in the house could hear me and I just learned to play the piano and I remember getting so frustrated with this and thinking you know nobody could do this this is just impossible it's like the first lesson or something uh, ode to joy and I'm just uh, barely making it and then my hands are sweating and I'm getting all upset and and then the computer program says okay you didn't get that slow down try this uh, okay that didn't so work? that didn't work, now try this. But that never yelled at me, never got upset <laughs> with me back. And I learned to play the piano from the computer. And I thought if this is the way all lessons should be taught, where nobody gets upset. If this didn't work, that's fine. Not everybody gets everything. If it doesn't work, then we'll just keep doing something else. Are you w waving around? What are you doing? Well, there's a sea behind us. I thought, you know, rough seas. <laughs> You are so funny. You just you just are so funny. You're like a little kid. All right, we need some ultramarine blue here. Um, I'm going to put out paint. Throw some ultramarine blue on there while I'm doing that. And we got to put the paint out. In case anybody's wondering, this is uh, Raz, uh, John's Journey, Episode 6. Ginger teaches uh, John to paint. Raz is our, uh, you guys are flying on the wall in our art studio, basically. It's just, uh, you know, we don't uh, answer the comments that, that, you know, people are commenting, and we appreciate it. And we won't see those once the share the, we leave this up on YouTube. That won't show up at all. But we appreciate you joining us. And if you ever have any questions for a Raz show, like, for instance, things you'd like answered on Raz, we're happy to do that. Um, just Provided let us we know. know ahead of time. Just tell us ahead of time. You know, when you, wh while you're at it, can you show on Raz how to do something? And, you know, that's that's okay, too. We don't mind uh, doing that. And also on our live shows. Of course, we'll be live with another nifty painting tomorrow night. Uh, really? With our yeah. Do you know what you're going to do? No idea. But it's going to be nifty because I'm doing it, right? Got to be. I mean, what, what else could Look at all the magenta we're going to use today. Well, I'm there's excited. two. There's two of us. So there is two of us. You so noticed that right away, didn't you? Yeah, one, two, right? To be in or not to be. You know, that was to. Uh, what did you say in that video that had no sound? Oh, you got to read my lips on that one, guys. If you want to know what I said, ha ha ha. I just said we're going to be live doing this in 30 minutes. But we didn't realize it was no sound with that. You know, Again, I had the camera, you know, a selfie instead, and that certainly didn't work. So after this show, we're going to do another one as a kind of a thank you to see what happens. He's going to try it again, see if he can make the sound work, because, you know, John's such a technical person. I would just, oh, I give up sound. Stupid sound doesn't work, but that's not how John operates. That's nope. not his MO. Nope. He, he, if it know. doesn't work, then he has to know why it doesn't work. I'm going, see, it didn't work, so moving on. Incidentally, if anybody likes our T-shirts, we do not sell these. We just found, I found these on Woot. I thought woot. they were really cute. W cute. Woot. 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 It was, they were a hoot, woot, W-O-O-T. -O 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 They're owned by Amazon now. And uh, they, uh, incidentally, as artists, you know that. Here's an interesting deal. You know, maybe you're one of these people that just comes up with clever things like this, you know. And they have a contest every month. And you can. Um, Who left the lid off that one? Let's not even go there, shall we? Ugh. Okay. Um, Sissy couldn't read my lips because of the beard. No, it's really the mustache that hides it. Um, okay. That's Ginger fair. is always right, Jen. What? Ginger is always right. Well, it's true. That's what Christine's telling us. Well, I, I blew it up bigger so I can read it. Oh, that's clever. Can you read it? No. Almost? But almost. Well, it's farther away from me. It's like another foot from me. But I love that you blew it up. I blew it up. So we can read some of the comments. Yeah. Huh? We can see some of the comments. We have the computer sitting on the desk here, but... And it's a Mac. Somebody asked if it was a Toshiba. No, it's a Mac. It's a Mac. We're Mac people. But you know what? We own every kind of computer because then I will have to say that when you go to our website to watch our lessons, they work on everybody's cell phone because John has one of everything, and he tests it on all the stuff. It works on the iPads, the tablets, the computers, the Macs, the, you know. Your TV. Your TV. It work on the TV. And if you don't understand any of this, people don't understand... Um, this is, uh, there's two different magentas here. This is, I'm using quadrachrome. Here's a design magenta, because we're going to be doing mostly flowers today. And I think I'll put out the napo crimson. People are kind of wondering what stuff we're going to do. I'm kind of wondering. Are you? Yeah. Well, you know, it's good to wonder. 
-hmm. All right. Now, one of the things that is kind of nice, you know, if you look at our picture, we, uh, we, I just kept the black and white today so that we weren't too influenced. Uh, here's the black and white reference photo that we're doing. Okay. Yep. So we're going to make some stuff up now. Right. Which is always now good, right? Now we do right? the creative license. Now we're going to just, that's our reference photo, but and we've got a good light source here. Okay, so you can see that. The light, you know, is coming from this direction. This tree is shading on our um, gate right there, which is good. So we know that. So these are things Not you kind of got to look for. Though, Nobody can see that? No, it's underneath. But they can kind of tell. Can they kind of tell? Well, I could tell. You're teaching me. We're not teaching them. They're that's on their true. own. Well, they're on their own. Yeah, that's right. Too bad. John, you know? are you doing well with acrylic painting? Well, you tell me. Well, I think he was doing well when we sat down to look at who's to who's. I said, which one is mine? I think that's a pretty good compliment. I was trying to decide which one was mine, which one was his this, right now when we sat down to paint him. So I think he's doing very good. I'm getting the, closer. And here's the thing. You know, this isn't how art is taught in America. Art, you know, for gents, you know, it's everywhere else in the world, art's taught where you c copy other art so you understand the brushstrokes. It's like t telling somebody, listen, I want you to learn how to cook. Here's what foods taste like. There's the grocery store. Go cook us something. Nothing is learned like that. But they'll sit there and they'll give a kid a bunch of art materials and say, all right, you talented one, show up. And if you weren't, weren't the one to figure it out, then suddenly you decide you have no talent, which is nonsense. This is just a learnable, learnable skill. A learnable, learnable. Learnable, learnable skill, as opposed to an unlearnable skill. All right, so I want to just mention the first thing we're going to do is put in some trees like this. You see that this is one of our lessons we have. Actually, you can buy this downloadable lesson. And I'll do see, that. See these little back, these little back, right. kind of blossoming yes. trees. Yeah. Yep. We're going to put that that in here first. Now the secret is, do you have my chalkboard? Let's set down by your side, my side. <sighs> Do you see a chalkboard? I do see a chalkboard. Awesome. Good. All right. So wait. Wait, the last thing we had on it was the wagon. We can clear off the wagon. Clear off the wagon. Let's clear out the paint. All right. Let's just take this chalkboard because I want, there's a principle. People think uh, it's really interesting. That once you get this tree down, you can throw it in any painting. It's sort of like your standard flowering you tree. I don't think you do. Thank you. I think I do. But it's kind <laughs> of you to ask. <laughs> what are you doing on this? I don't want to know. Listen, this is a crummy, cheap chalkboard. I keep telling you we should get a new one, but uh, you know this is what we hey, got. We have we have a budget. We either buy a chalkboard or we buy paint. That's true. We buy paint. All right. So okay. So when you're thinking about a flowering tree, usually you know there's you know okay. Try not to make noodle. You know, don't make noodle branches. But you know, trees are coming down like this, and then they're gonna yeah. They just sort of kind of do this so if you imagine sometimes the only advantage to put something like this in is if you can imagine these branches in without drawing them in that's fine okay but um, but basically and trees always are a little wider and as they, their limbs go out they get shorter you know if you have one that's coming this way it's kind of doing this it's facing you kind of like that so so all right so we're going to say that's our tree like that and, and where are these trees going what do you mean where are they going in our painting well, it's going to be behind that. We're going to have just this part of the tree. This top part. This back top here. part just back here. Okay, okay? Gotcha. So what you want to think about, think of bonsai trees. Do you ever see those little bonsai oh, yeah. trees? So if you think about a bonsai tree, one of the things that they do is they, if you think about something like this, these kind of shapes, you know, kind of like that, this this bonsai right, shape, right. right? Yep. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, so if you if you can kind of do it like that, so so what you would do then is you're going to say, I've got some little dots of color there, co Red color leaf. here, and they're really they're they're little white petals, right? But they're in kind of you don't want a perfect oval, but you want sort of oval s type shapes like this, right? See, like that. See, okay. and then a little bit, and then I'm going to come under here and say because it's they're going to be covering this part. Here's yeah. little dots like this. I'm with you like that and then I'm going to come over here and say maybe there was some here do to do do and then up here I don't want little lines but I'm just going real fast with the dots I should do pink dots so you could see them all right you can't see them never mind <laughs> so, <laughs> so but I, I mean the you, idea. but you get the idea get so you you so so basically so then so all you have to do is you can put this out of, well, I'll just put this down here. Whoops, yes. smack. 
All right, so grab the pencil, one of those little pencils. They're in the little jar that you put away over there. Okay. And uh, let's see, we got a little white pencil in there, right? Little, some sort of little white pencil. Okay, so now I'm going to say I've got a tree coming up this way. And I'm going to just say here's a few little branches like that. I might just skip it. See, I, you don't okay. have to see the whole tree. And I might even have something coming down behind my bars like this, okay? So I want to say there's this little flowering tree here. I'm going to say that happened here, okay? All right, and I don't think I'll put one on the other side, but I've got one here, okay? And it's coming down there. So then what you want to do is to bring our paint back. And, yeah, so let's take take the knife edge of the brush. Let me put a little water in our little heart thing. Okay, so... Well, so I'm I using a ruby satin 3 8 inch silver. angle. Angle. It makes sure you. Let me, let me give you the, the the really newer one, one that's got, that really goes to a point. Now push it, pull it to a point, wet it, pull it to a point, and then just take some white paint here, and I'll just miss this. Let's just miss this paint. I'm trying not to miss you. Find the stick. Uh, uh, okay, so I have a little water here. Our time. I'm going to say I want just something like this, right? Just a light so, brown. Kind of a light brown color. And I'm going to pinch the brush. I'm going to pull it, pull it up, and I'm just going to come right on top of this. Um, tree, just kind of indicate I have a tree here, and you may have to just use the tip of that. Okay, I think I want a little bit darker wherever, if it's possible. If you're coming down behind our, um, wherever there's a light green, you can go a little darker, and you're just using the the dark um you can use the dark color where there's light green and that light color where there's not there we go and i'm going to kind of shade this a little bit i just want to indicate that there is this tree here okay little tiny branches okay like that something like that you're not going to see a lot of it but if you put yourself a little bit in here like that it'll help you okay let's just pull this a little lighter and take a little white on the brush come right down next to this there's my tree branch. Even just a little bit of white on it. There you go. Okay. I want to see that I want to see my tree. Okay, let's take a little eh, maybe even a little yellow oxide over that white. There, actually the yellow oxide over the white works pretty good too. Just a little bit of a highlight on this. See what I've done here? Just come back oh. with a little yellow oxide. I just want to be able to see it. Wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So if you're doing something that doesn't show up, come up with a new plan. That's, that's that's my best advice. Come up with a new plan. Okay, so I'm saying that's going down. We're not going to see most of this, but I'm just putting it down behind the gate. Okay? And the light's kind of going there like that. So once you've established that, that you've got some sort of little tree there, you know, then, then it can be any kind of tree. It's, it's closer to us. And we're saying it's some sort of little flowering tree. So the trick is there's never just one color. There's always two colors of of blossoms there's just the, there's the lighter color and the darker color pretty much on any flower there's two colors you just got to figure out what that is so let's take some let's take some white and um, maybe just some ultramarine blue and a little like that a little white ultramarine blue and a little bit of burnt umber and gray I'm making this kind of gray it down a little bit right so that's gonna let's make sure we've got it I want it light enough where and I'll make enough paint here I want it light enough it's I don't want it pure white in other words this tab this tab is pure white so right. you see it so then I'm going to just pinch the brush put this paint right on the corner and I'm going to just tap in okay tap in some little flowers uh, just right across the tree branches the tree branches are kind of like my skeleton so I know where I want my flowering tree I'm using just the corner if you have to pinch your brush so that you're getting it just on the corner, little tiny dots, almost straight up and down. I think the question came up the other day when someone asked us if we ever use easels. When we're doing something like this for filming, um, yeah, I use easels most of the time, but when you're doing small stuff like this, it's just easier to film and show. Um, well, we have a bridge. Did you want your bridge? Sammy what had bridge? your bridge, that little plastic bridge. Oh, no, we don't have room for that. Okay. 
That's oh, a bridge is a, is, is a, th a device you can put so you can rest your arm on it and keep it out of the paint. It, it, it normally, you know, if this were oil or watercolor, you can't have in your arm touch the paint, but because this is so dry, okay, so it's my background, it's my background, little leaves like that, little tiny, okay, and then I'm going to come down in here like this and just put it. Now we have a choice. We could do e these either pink or white. Do we have two smaller brushes than this? Do you see in there the two, the two little angle brushes that are smaller than this? Do you see anything in there that looks tinier than this? Okay, there's one. Got another one? Yeah. That's three yeah. Got another tiny, tiny angle. No, I do not. Well, it's, it's, it's so when, when that, that guy work? Yeah, this guy work. I'll, tr I'll trade you. You can have the angle. I'll trade you. Okay. I don't know what the other one's probably in the other studio. All right, now I'm going to take a little white. I'm going to put, I think I want a little pink. I think I want it slightly pink. And I'm going to put a little brown with it like that. Here's some slightly pink color. Now I'm going to come up here like this. And I'm going to tap in. This is kind of over what I just did. But, in, you know, I'm going to say here's our pink leaves. Like that. I'm going to come in here like this. I think I want pink ones. And then we'll do. I'll do some white on top of these. I think those that tan wasn't showing up. You know, and that's okay. You know, normally I would just do this painting all ahead of time, and then show you how to paint it. But we're making it up as we go, so you not only get to see the thought process of how one does it, but um, the thought process about designing it. Designing it too. You know, I'm mean, gonna gonna come up here and say. I want some, you know, little flowers. And some of these, these little areas can connect, okay? These these little ones can connect. That's important. You want to be able to have them connect. All right, so if I've got that, now I'm going to go really light now, almost a white. And now, on top of these, the, the light can only be on the top part, okay? Right. Get well, white each down. time. Sun's hitting it you know, on the top and then kind of to the left. So that's where the, t that's where this is. So if you're going to say that there's some of these little flowering leaf, uh, little petal trees, just, I think what people do is they make them too much like freckles and the dots overlap and touch. You're still doing dots, but they overlap. And then they're not just perfectly round, puffy circles. They're, they're jagged uneven with little lone ones kind of running out all on their own, like escaping from the school. I think a little school of fishes of leaves, like like a little school of fishes. And everybody's hanging out together. Okay. Okay, so we're going to say this is our flowering tree. And I want it lighter up here. Okay, there we go. Then once I'll roll the paint off your brush, just put it on the tip. Put it on that little tiny tip. If somebody wants to know what this one is, this is a bright uh, brush, Ruby Satin Short Handle number two, which is nice too. That makes a very small little dot. You know, I think an angle brush is, I just love the angle brushes. Not everybody does. A lot of people just want to stick with the brights, and this is a good one for a small one like that. Now you can see how, see how this is coming along, and you want to bring some out this way, back like that, okay? And, uh, so here's our, then we're going to come inside the gate like this. I think I want a little more pink in here. Let's brighten this up. There we go. Just darker color on the bottom, lighter color on the top. And remember, it can cross in front of the tree. I think that's what people don't understand. It can cross in front of those tree limbs like this. See, I'm just, you know, I, I made the tree. Oh, yeah. Now I'm crossing over in front of it. That indicates that this bush is, you know, kind of almost facing me. Okay, like that. There you go. And maybe I'll connect it up this way. So it's almost like an S. I'm connecting it this way. And you can always come back. Here's the deal. You can always come back. And either add more green if you got if you just got carried away, or you can add more brown. Like I could take some dark brown, maybe a little purple on it. And I could come up here where I need a little branch, 
and just indicate that there's a branch in a couple places. You know what I mean? If I wanted to show a branch in here, it wasn't showing up. Angle brush is a little better for that. You can get a little more narrow branch, but still, you can say that there's, you can put your branches back if you lose, lost them, and you, they would just peek out. That's the thing. Your branches are just going to peek out. So there's our trees, and the branches are peeking out. And I might make this trunk a little bit wider here. Yeah, let's take some yellow oxide and some white. How are you doing? Okay, now, okay, so bring some over this way. Try to try to make it a little bit lighter. Bring bring some tree over this way. See how I've cut it yeah. over the top of the gate? Okay. I mean, I like what you've got going there. I do. Because you're just, you have to hold, you know, the thing of it is, is that if I said to the, picture an apple in your mind, can you picture an apple in your mind? I can. Okay, did you know there are all kinds of people who can't do that? If you said picture an apple, they couldn't think, there's, there's visual people and kinesthetic people and audio people, and chances are the audio people can't do it. Maybe the kinesthetic people can't either. The visual people all can do it. So, I mean, and it's an interesting, um, it's it's really interesting to me to do it. Let's let's take a little magenta and white. And look, now watch what happens when now look what happens when you use this color. That's a pretty color. So if I wanted to bring this a little closer, I could take a little bit of this magenta because that's a little brighter, isn't it? Yeah. And just sort of kind of where I've got some of these light ones. Okay. I'm gonna go right behind my gate like that. So I've got this nice. Nice, great. Okay, so you're getting a little thick here. You want to bring some of this flowers down this way. Okay, so just and then oh, there's, so you're getting yeah, almost yeah, yeah, you're yeah, almost yeah, too, you too, too you're almost getting too have have some little dots running out and loose so they're just not clumped. Okay, I mean it looks nice from a distance, but you want a couple just one two and stop one two and stop. See, and you've got that little brush, right? You're using a little tiny one. No, use this tiny one. That's why we got it. Change brushes. Use that tiny one. I didn't get the memo. Uh-huh. It's okay. I missed the memo. You did. Okay. So the, yeah, the, it'll be easier to do it, right? So you're going to get... Yeah, so we've got these little ones coming down like this. And I want some of my light ones on top. Then I'm going to come back with some green. I'm showing you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some dark green, you know, like this. And I'm going to come back. Now, look, I'm, I'm, I'm a little heavy in some places. So I'm going to poke a hole in some of my plants, just like this. See, if I'm too heavy, yeah. I can come back and just poke a hole in them where I got a little carried away with the dots. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're talking and you're making dots. and Okay. There. So that there you go. See, so it's easier with the smaller brush, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Because we, remember, we're going to put... Try to remember, we're going to have, John, try to remember, we're going to do lines yeah, you got here. rails. So you need to put enough flowers in here so they kind of peek behind the rails. You can just skip down here and put in a few, like, just just throw in, like, here, I'll show you. Just come down here like this and just, it, the rails will be here so you can indicate There's some little, going just that there. you, we don't have to talk about it, right? I we're love just, when we don't talk about it. I know, we're just, we're suggesting, but we're not really talking about it. We're just suggesting that these flowers are going behind the gate. Maybe I'm going to come up over here and said I could suggest, that's pretty too, I could suggest a flower, some sort of flowering tree this way too, just on this side and just bring it around. It's pretty. Okay. Okay, now again, you're getting where you're just, just all the same shape. So, so tr look, watch, one, two, three, just try to make it a little bit more uneven. Th think of letters like a K or something or, the, you know. You make it sound so simple. I know. So it's just try to break the shapes up so that you're not making the same thing. Okay, that's good. That's nice. Now stop on there and then do something to this one. One, two, three, stop. And then maybe throw something over here coming out of this corner. We don't know where it came from, but we're not, we don't know. We're not talking about it. We're not talking about it. We're just saying it did. Okay? Okay. Now, if you want that's to take better. A, that's, that's better. Now take a little white now. Come up on the top of these, right, like this. And say that here's my lighter, lighter colors now. 
Okay, is this really going to say here's my lighter ones? I don't want too many. I want the, uh, there's going to be the gates. I, I want the pink to show up, so I'm not doing too much behind the gate, but I might say that there's some lighter flowers, you know, the lights coming on top of these flowers like this, That's like that. Way. There you go, something like that. A few little dots. Okay. Yeah, now look up in, on, on your monitor. Can you <gasps> see what you've got? It's kind of cute, isn't it? Yours is brighter. You have more white. Well, that's all I right. I mean, I, but I like, but I, I don't. Yeah. You know, as long as there's a differential in the yeah. light and the dark, that's less important, right? I like yeah. what you've got. Actually, I think it's very nice. I want to put in a little darker leaves. I could come up if I needed something darker under here. I could come up and add a few little dark ones. Just take some magenta, and you know, adds a little bit. Well, it's too dark. Add a little bit. You know, a little bit of dark, like under here. If I've, if I've, if I need to, I can either do dark green or. I can differentiate by adding a few little darker ones. There you go. And just make sure you have some running off the canvas over here like that. Well, I got them running off the canvas, all right. Oh, that's good. All right. So now we're going to leave that alone, okay? That's like good. Oh, we like that. Okay. Now, while we're waiting for that to dry, okay, let's put the brush in water. Take your little brush and take a little, make a little orange color, cad red medium, cad yellow medium, right? Now, I did a little bit on this, but come up on the top of your, your bricks and just do like this. Just add yeah. some orange like on your bricks. Yeah, that's where I was at. That's where you were at the that's last where I time. So just rudely interrupted. Okay, so you don't you just just use the top part and just pull down like this. Top and pull down. Okay? Just bring a little bit over here too. Top and pull down. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Just start at the very top of the brick. Start at the very top of the brick and just pull it down because it's about, you don't necessarily do the whole brick. You're just suggesting some color on it. Okay. There you go. And, you know, bricks can be a lot of different colors. That's what's so fun about it. They, they're not all one orange brick, but I mean, this is, the, bricks are really pretty when you lay your colors on them. If you're really going to fool around with bricks, you layer a few colors. Bring it down a little more. Too much on the top. Bring some down. Okay. All right. And do some over here, too. Put a little on those. You pretty much want to cover those. Get some more paint on your brush. Okay. Good. It's all about the illusion. Yeah, and then you want this side too. So it's probably in the ratio of colors, probably 75% cad yellow medium and a little bit of, you know, or more maybe even. Maybe 80% cad yellow medium and a little tiny bit it's of red. Yellow. It's just mostly yellow with, with a tiny bit of red in it to make that orange. That's kind of cool looking. Yeah, I like that color. So that's a little brighter color. If you say that this is, you know, a couple of these are a little brighter, like that. Okay. So that's the trick with bricks. You start off with one color of rocks or anything, and then you just keep adding colors. Okay. All right. I like that. I like it too. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Look at it far away. Here, look. Here's that's a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow. That's get yellow oxide, right? Okay, a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow oxide. I'm going to come up here like this. Let me see. Just to make sure that you you, you need to do anything oh, with okay. your uh, your grout. How's your grout? I Very blasé. Well, I mean, you can just add a little bit here, and, and also you can see what I'm doing here. You can cover up. Now look how I'm just going over some of these bricks. I don't know if I like that. Barely touch it, you know, like that, and kind of push some of these back a little bit so they're not so in your face. Sometimes too many br bricks can be boring. You barely want to touch it and just pull some back like that. There you go. All right. And again, you don't have to do that, but that's one way to just sort of, you know, just suggest that the bricks are, you know, there's a lot of busy stuff in this painting. So, you know, kind of see what I did. See, sorry, kind of, see, just. 
Oh. Just took took that light hair color, just like this, and just barely touched it. Wipe most of the paint off your brush, and just pull it down. Barely touch it. Just sort of pull it down, out over the bricks in a couple places. Not all of them, just a couple. A little more paint. Nothing happened. <laughs> I'm nervous. Don't be nervous, because you you can take it back and put the brick back if you don't like it. And if you're ever wanting to try a new thing. Do a save as. Camera. Do a save as. Dry it really well so you can wipe it off if it wasn't your best thought. Okay? But I've seen nice. you do that. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, absolutely that do good. that. Okay, so that looks good. And then I'm thinking that's a nice color. What if I would take a little bit of this color here like this and put it on my tree? Could I add a few branches with this right here like that? That makes my tree show up. I'm going to just do a little bit on the top. Want some of this light color right here on the top of my bricks. Okay? That was just CAD, just with yeah, the it, oxide just, and your yeah, white. And white, yeah. Just kind of made it a little bit lighter. There you go. So, I mean, sometimes, you know, acrylics dry darker, so if you want something to show up, you know, there's a little bit of a tree branch. There you go. Something like that. So you can just, there a little bit. So sometimes it's just the tiniest amount that will make a difference. If you get too much, you can come back with a little dark and skinny it up. People always say, I can't paint a thin line. Sure you can, just stuff. Do a thick line. Do a thick line and then paint over it with something else. You know, you've got, certainly you've got that available, you know, as an option. Okay, there you go. There, all right. So now let's move on to this. Let's put some roses coming down here on this side of the, um, of our gate. So I'm going to say that I've got, I've got something we're going to have some sort of a, a, a vine that's coming down here like this, all right? This is my plan here, right? Like that. That's going to be some, some, whatever's growing here. It's growing over this part of the gate like that, okay? That's, that's my thought, all right? Okay, I'm not following you exactly. I've got, I've got, I've got some sort of flowering thing, and okay. it's hooked to this, right? All right. So if I take a little bit of burnt umber, a little bit of ultramarine blue, Okay, and, and you, just, you did purple and you did burn umber, so... Yeah, yeah, all right, and let's put some ultramarine blue. Good, good, all right, good, good. Keep, keep, just keeping you honest here, all right? So I'm going to just come down like this. Just and trying just, to follow the rules I'm here. I'm just, just going to, just in here like that, I'm just going to say I've got some... Um, I mean, so kind want, of vine work type thing. So, okay. you know, I'm just saying a vine work, and then I'll take a little bit of this light color, what we just did, maybe just, just it doesn't really matter, a little yellow oxide, I just need something lighter. And I want to say that there's this little, let me pinch this up here. Just draw, draw something in here like that. And I don't like that, so let me just wipe that off because I've saved ads here. This is what I love about that. You might want to, um, here, I need that vine to show up. So let's see, let's take, I'm just going to take a little purple like this because I'm just going to draw it in here like that at this point, right? You're not really going to see any of this unless I lighten it up. So. Let's take a little purple, a little bit of cad red medium and white. Maybe a little bit of cad red medium. A little bit of yellow, to make it more orange. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so I'm going to say that that's, I've got some sort of little vine coming. You know, it's very hard to go over the chalk. Yes, I don't like it, the chalk. You know, it's very hard. But anyway, I, I, I just wanted something here so that I know where we're going, all right? And it's a dark brown here. If I'm going out over my bricks, I need it pretty small. So if you need to change brushes, get the smaller one. You have a little tiny small angle brush. Okay. I'm erasing. Oh, you know what you did? You know what? You, okay, so you're erasing, all right? All right. What did I do? Okay, so look, it's okay. I, we just want a few little vines over this, over these bricks. And... Um, that's just too thick. Let me erase two. I don't like this here. I'm gonna wait till the designer's done with this one. Yeah. Let me let me just let me just th think about it, and then I'll tell you what we're gonna do. <laughs> you know, because I, I man, that rag is like stiff as a board now. Need a new rag. All right. So I'm gonna erase this real quick. Can can you fill this water up? You know, just dump it in your water thing and fill it up. Okay. So I'm gonna just erase this right here. Okay, what I have that you don't have is that I have some bushes coming over this way. Right, you got further ahead than I did last time. All right, so... Do I need to put my brushes in while you're doing that? 
um, you, what we need to do is to take some dark green. Let's just start again. Let's take some dark green, okay, which is yellow and ultramarine blue, a little tiny bit of phthalo blue, right? And we, you need to put a few little, you need to bring this dark over here like that, over your brick part You're right. of this. Okay. Just, just make this edge right here about, say, three fingers down, a little uneven, you know? Going so in, you're okay. Just because we're going to fill all this up. Just, okay. Now remember, it's uh, it's uneven, so it's okay. So you want to bring out a few, maybe that's a bushes. Now think about some bushes growing right. out this way and growing out this way, something like that, right? Make it a little darker. Let's put some purple in there. You, you know, make that darker. Take some yellow. Make a really dark green. Here we okay. Go. Now wipe your brush off because you've got all that paint on. It's too yellow. You don't have this anywhere near dark enough. Start with the blue. There you go. Now go. Start with the blue and then just use the corner of your brush, just the corner of it, and dot in some little leaves coming out this way. Just imagine a little branch coming out this way like that. Make that, because don't, I don't want another straight edge here. I want you to come out with a jaggedy edge out this way. Now go back. Jaggedy <laughs> edge. Go back. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And the same thing here. I'm going to come down on the walk like this and say that this I'm going to have something coming out over the walk so that the walk is the walk the walkway oh the walkway is it sounds like a walk the walk <laughs> all right is it just all right as long as we're doing it okay let's just do, let's do that now okay so then what do I know for sure I know I've got a vine coming down in here like that that's coming this way and I uh, uh, nor okay where's the all right well, what do you want dry it I would dry it but um you have a hair dryer behind you yeah, I do. I'm going to dry it. We're going to turn the hair dryer on. Here one, you go. One, two, one, two three. three. Yeah, do it like you do now. I'm going to dry my flowering tree, too, on the gate. Yeah. Dry that, too. yours I'm still playing okay you're still designing so I'm still playing okay you still play all right so now you see what I mean I've dried this right so now I'm going to take some white and brown like that because this is dark so I want it to show up right and I'm going to pinch the brush and um could you get that thank you yeah there we go a little bit of white and burn umber make a light brown color you know what we don't have it out is burnt sienna that would be a very lo lovely color to have right now, I think, because it's a little bit of a more of a red brown. Yes, it is. And that would be a lovely color to have. I'm going to stick that right there, there. <laughs> well, I'm going to put it there too, man. Look at that. Just oh, that's a mess. Look at that. I'm not saying chip. anything. Well, yes, you are. No, listen, I am not. Listen, did, did you did you get? Oh, away wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to do a survey. Did you get away with that as a kid, where you just made some sort of snarky laugh and then said to your mother, I didn't say anything, and your sisters were kicking you or something? Yeah, you know? absolutely. It's a, it must have been nice. You don't get away with it here. You were saying something. All right, so now, and it's just a tone, you know, it's a tone of voice, too. I'm not saying anything, which, of course, you are saying oh. something. Oh, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I sound like Mickey, but I'm not saying anything. that better? No. No. Oh. Not even cute. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> all right now okay so we got to come up with a plan here I need, I need a little bit of a light branch and I'm just gonna put it here here see here that see this just got a little bit of white on it and oh barely, that's better yeah just very tiny okay yeah. and I just barely want this to show just I think I'm just using white and a little bit of brown in my brush there you go and it's just awful white. like that buff that antique one yeah, that would have been good, too. The buff would have been good. But, you know, we can make it. Yeah. All right, so we've got that. Okay, so I just want to suggest that there's some sort of little flowering vine coming over this way on our gate here like this. And it's going to be a little bit thicker here, and it's getting thinner as it goes out like that. Where's our little okay. bit of a... Um, a little bit put a little bit of red with it down this side but you know you don't have to you don't have to do too much I, I normally I wouldn't even bother with this because I would just put the flowers in but I want you to understand where they're going okay? right you want to give them a foundation okay so that's enough dry it, it is I was stopping dry, dry it please okay that's I'm gonna good. dry all right you dry One, two, three. It. 
One, two, three, trying it. That's trying to do something else. Now grab our, grab our um, little box of tape over there that I put there, right there. There's a little box of no, the box. Okay, this is our tiny. This is our box. Did you know we own this box? This is our tiny box of tape. I did tape. not know we owned a box of tape. This, this is yeah. This, this is, is, a, this, is the, this is the crepe paper tape. See the artist curve for artist curves. This by Scotch. This is quarter inch. Um, the quarter you, inch. Maybe some teeny tiny. And here's some teeny tiny That's stuff. Teeny this, tiny. this is teeny tiny. So if I did. If I take this like this, okay, and I said, now how wide do I want the the um, the pillars? I'm going to say, do you want? Oh, oh, you're see, doing the pillars I'm now. Doing the you pillars. want thicker. I want the thicker you tape. The I don't want tape. this. I want no, the thicker tape. No, I thought you were tape. doing it around the top or something. My bad. Yep. No. My bad. I was thinking. Yeah, there should be one open here like that. Okay, so we're going to take. I'm going to say that this is the widest the the posts. Let me just put my glasses on so you can see where this starts. That one needs to be thrown out. What? What's throwing out? This. Yeah. It's got tape all over, and I can't pull it apart anymore. Okay. Well, they, you know, tape gets old and it gets sticky, and then it, it doesn't, doesn't work. This gets really yucky. It does. It just, and this is really sticky too. Let's open a new one. Factory fresh. Let's just open. Okay, a new so we have an eighth inch, eighth inch, and a quarter inch. Okay, so eighth. I think we eighth would be. We're about small. to do a quarter. Let's do a quarter inch. Let's open the quarter inch. Going okay. big. And note to self, buy more of this. You don't use it very often. Normally we just use this for uh, going around curves, but sometimes it's very nice for a straight line too. All right, so here it is. Well, couldn't we just use the regular quarter inch? Since that's what you're using and you're going straight. Look at that, it's the same one. That's plastic, that's not even crepe. Okay, yeah, let's use that. This yeah, is let's artist use that. Tape. Artist tape, okay. So that's not the crepe tape. See, that's yeah. not the one that's for curves. See? Yeah, yeah, bad. So we, yeah. We need we need more bad. stuff for curves. All right. All right. So I'm just gonna pull out a long piece. Grab one of those palette knives we're not using. This one work? Um, well, it's okay, but it's not great. Okay, so okay. now I'm gonna just I'm gonna start in the middle of my you gate want this like that. Yeah, I want this one instead. We're gonna start in the middle of the gate like this because I don't want to measure. I'm just gonna find the middle of my gate and go from there. All right. Right. I'm gonna say there's the middle of my gate. I'm that's gonna make it. sure it's straight down like this. Okay. Then I'm gonna just leave a little tab up there, and then I'm gonna hold my. See how I'm holding the palette knife yep, like you're this? Yep. You're cutting it. Cutting it. Right. Cutting it. And then I'm gonna say I want another one here. I think I can get. I think I can. Let's see. I'll do one on this side, and then I'll do one in the middle, maybe. Let me see. Where did the tape go? Need a, need another couple pieces of tape, and we're gonna just we're gonna make up some. Um, I need a big long piece of this. Okay, so then I think I'm gonna do. Uh, see, there's my middle. So if I saying that that, I need a little space between these. I'm just gonna move that one over. I guess it would probably be easier to there. Okay, I'm gonna say that's there. And I'm just kind of eyeball this in. It's just kind of that's pretty good right there, wouldn't you say? No, I think that looks darn good. So then I will. So if I like that, then I will squish it down. Now my question, you wait, 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 wait. What are you painting? Because well, if you paint this, you just made that thicker. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, we can't do that. So we got to so do the first one should be coming up that edge. Yeah, the first one's got to be here. And then you want to split that difference. Then we got to split this difference. Good point, John. Thank you for catching that. All right, so that's even better. Look at that. See, that's pretty nice right there, right? But this isn't straight up and down, but let's just try it again. Okay. And that one isn't straight up and down. There, this has got to be straight. So we're saying the gate's straight. Yeah, all right, that's how we're doing it. Okay, so then we're doing that. Tip, tape that off. Then I'll do the same thing on this side, like that. Okay, like that. Say so that there's this one. And 
this one. So I gotta move this over a little bit. Yeah, you gotta make sure you get that around the edge. I've gotta move this over to here just a bit. Just to kind of, because it's not perfectly, you know, it's not perfectly even to be able to do this, so I'm going to just kind of make some adjustments like that. I think that still gives me an edge between them. Okay, and I still have another question then. Sure. Why are you cutting it off the bottom? Um, I don't know. I just always do. Okay. I wouldn't have to. You wouldn't have to cut it no, off the bottom. No, because you're matching what's down there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece going well, across like probably this. Probably so that way you get the color. There. Now look. Now I'm going to put a piece going across so I don't over tape it. You know. But uh, you wouldn't have to cut it off. I just. Well, I'm thinking this guy needs another coat down here. Yeah, but out. then I wouldn't do it that way. So okay. okay so all right. all right. So we're saying. Let's see. Where's that? We have that buff titanium somewhere right here. So let's just get that color out. Now our choice is the gate. Now now we have a choice. Now that we're doing this, do we want to paint? keep this gate this tan, tan. I think we're going to keep this gate this tan color. So we're not painting it a color. Could have painted it a color, but we're not. Okay, and I've squished this down, right? You've squished this down. So this is, you know, pretty much how I'm going to do mine. You'll oh, yours is looking good. 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 All right, now I'm going to take a little bit of the buff titanium and go over what we painted. This is nice, you know, when you're trying to get, you know, straight lines for something. This is a good... Well, heck yeah, this is the way to do it. Well, there, now we're going to just... No water on your brush. If you if it's been in the water, wipe it off because you don't want... And really burnish that, that tape down so that the, that the paint doesn't float underneath it. You really got to squish over that paint. Squish over that paint. It, that tape. You got to squish over the tape. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to just say this happened like... Like this. This is really a perfect palette knife for this. Yeah, isn't it? There you go. And you want to come up from the bottom. You never want to um, uh, deliberately brush paint Into over it. tape. Now, if you think you're going to need two coats, the time to do it would be to dry it. And then, here, let me have the dryer and I'll show you. And I'll do a second coat. Here, let me get you the dryer. Thank you. That's just buff by the top, right? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and it. Normally, I don't like to dry tape. Um, I mean, dry, put, you know, put a hair dryer <laughs> over tape. But, you know, I mean, this in this case, we needed a second coat. And I like this buff titanium color, so I'm just doing a second coat on this. All right, so now, if I start pulling this off, look here. pretty good right yes okay and then I'm going to do just go ahead and give the gate a second coat of paint too as long as I'm at it I don't have to be so careful with it but I'll just give it a second coat there we go so I'm not worried so much about the edges but there we go just second coat of paint on the gate because we're going to have some shadow colors on the gate too but there you, there it is so then, what do you do with the tape? This is important. Wad it up and put it in some water before you put it in the wastebasket. And the reason you do that, it releases all the glue. It destickifies it. Yeah. Okay. So now we've got a kind of a, a neat little gate, and it's a very nice way to get something pretty, uh, pretty easy. Yeah. I hate to cover up all my good guys back there. I worked so hard in getting in there. I know, but now you can see them behind here. Isn't that cool? How you can kind of see yeah. them behind the gate and you can kind of see them there. And it's just. But I'm covering up some of my better work. I know. I'm sorry. Don't you hate to do that sometimes when we really have something good and you know you're gonna have to cover it? Well, I you got to admit. Come on. Yeah. It does. Yeah. What happened to my tree here? I'm gonna just take a little bit of this buff titanium and. Uh, Give it this 
And maybe just on the top of this. There, a little bit of orange here. I want a little bit of orange, kind of an orange color up here on the top of my wall. There we go. Back there. Okay. Oh. Here, how'd you do? I think I'm doing fine. All right, that looks good. I mean, I can tell that's going to look really good. This is a wonderful, people don't appreciate, I mean, how fun tape is. You know, you see some of these paint, you know, you see a painting with a lot, like Venice, for instance, it's got all these windows. You want to paint that, you tape every one of them, that's, it just takes forever. But takes when you're done, you have a masterpiece. But yeah, but it's, it's just, you know, and again, it's just the, pa it's just patience, you know. So, you know and some of us have more patience than others. Well, it's true. That's true. You sock folders probably do. You know, I have no patience at all for this stuff. But, you know, it, and to do it. Now, if I take a little bit of white with the um, buff titanium, I can come on the top of my gate like this and lighten up. Just give a little light edge up here like that. I can do that when I get my tape off. You get your tape off. You could do that. Just a just little light edge on the top of your gate. It doesn't hurt, you know, these little things. There Even here, I can do a little light edge in between here. I'm going to show you. Like right here, in between here, like that, do a little light edge. There you go. There you go. So there you go. So that's a little detail stuff. You don't really have to fool with it. But, you know, some people really, you know, it's, it's all about details for them. I like this buff titanium. I'm tempted to... Add it to our repertoire. Well, I'm just saying that I'm tempted to put a little bit of this... In, across our walkway, I want you to see what I'm talking about here. I'm just going to suggest. Well, yeah. See, so you you have more walkway done than I do. Apparently, yeah. you're quicker than I am. I don't understand that. I just want a little bit of this light across the walk, rock walkway in a couple places to suggest some light. You know, I'm not doing any steps. Or hey, anything. we had a donation. Thanks, guys. Oh gosh, that's that's sweet. Thank you. That's very nice. So, see, I'm putting a little bit of this light on the walkway just to kind of, you know, bring the light into the here and I'll do some other stuff but yeah but I still have to get my buff down over the different color yeah I need to bring mine over don't I yeah you need to bring it over about like from here to there just yeah and just take a little bit of the buff titanium and a little bit of the um uh burnt sienna. the burnt sienna you know and then you can you know when you're doing something like this this is the next coat shadows are generally uh very soft so you do a second you know what I mean so if you're saying that there's some sort of, sort of little sh you know, shadows or whatever, they're pretty, they can be very soft and um, out of focus, you know, as opposed to this is a very hard line. Right. People always talk about a hard and a soft line. That, that This gate is a hard line. These bricks yes. are hard lines, but shadows are kind of soft and out of focus. And so if you're saying that there's some sort of, uh, sh you know, lights and darks, you can almost, this is where you want to do wet on wet a little bit so that you're... Um, so, you know, I'm just going to skip around here and add a few little light spots. I've kind of making it up, but it's all right. Just suggesting there's some light on our walkway. And I didn't do bricks or anything too clever. Just no. wanted to keep it like that. Again, we'll put more plants and stuff growing over that. But, you know, we have a nice little walkway, so why not? Okay, take my tape off. Yep. You try the little, little palette knife for that. Guy. Yeah, try that guy. Might be a little easier. Now, one of the things you can do is you can, when you're putting your tape down, leave a little edge of it up. Leave a tiny little edge of it up. Oh, look how nice that is. You know, don't squish it off. It takes a little bit of a learning curve on remembering to leave some tape up. But look at that. Isn't that nice? I can paint a straight line. You can. Look at that. That looks really nice, John. You did a good job of spacing them and everything. Look okay, there. Now, and incidentally, if you, if anybody's watching this, um, if you go to my Pinterest uh, page, um, Ginger Cook Live, all one word on Pinterest, and you go to the Student 2017 uh, Gallery page. Every once in a while, people will share something with me on Facebook, and I'll put it up on our Student Gallery. And we had some gal, and she just saw the first part of this, made up the whole painting herself, added some steps down the walk, and instead of doing what we did with the with the, the boards, she went ahead and did some very intricate scroll work on the front of the gate. It was really pretty. A lot of different ways to paint this. And I, I just, I, I've forgotten what her name is, but I put it on our board what her name was and looked really nice. going to just say that. Looked really, really nice. 
Okay. You got just a little bit of light on the top there. That's all. So These you, are just details, just small details. You just, just put a little bit more white with it. You want it pretty light, just almost white. There you go. Ooh, I got pinky. Oh, it won't matter. It'll just look like a reflected light. Okay, that's good. all right to to you know turn it sideways and just using you're just using the toe of the brush. I like to call this the toe. This very the big toe of the brush here that's on this angle, the very tip of it. There you go. All right, so you can go. You can always go back and add some detail. Yeah. So that looks great. All right, so we're gonna take some white now because I haven't decided what color we're gonna do, and I'm gonna tap on. See this in a little circle, four little five little taps. I'm gonna tap on some flowers. All right, so you and have I'm your vines. I can put my vines in. Okay, I'm going to tap on it. See, I'm just doing white first. I haven't, again, I'm still deciding what flowers, color flowers, but notice that they touch. Okay, I think, um, I just, I love making up a garden. That's fun. So I'm going to come down here. And, 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 so, so that we're going to have some flowers this way. And then maybe some over here. Let's see how they're touching. And I mean the vine, if you want to just draw the vine in on a pencil just so you kind of know where it goes, that's all that you need really. You, didn't, and I'm gonna do, you don't even have to paint it in because, paint it in kind of for you, because you, you just have to think about that they're part of a vine. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? I'm going to have maybe something coming up like this. You're just this. using a straight titanium? Just take titanium now because I haven't decided what color we're going to do. And I, I, want, I know I'm going to want them a little brighter. Okay. okay. We're going to say there. And there will be some other flowers along here too. We haven't finished this walk business. I'm going to say there's some flowers there. Just like that. Okay. Little tiny ones like that. You know. So just have fun with that. You want to use your smaller brush maybe. That be better. <coughs> Try that. Here, I'll show you how much easier. If you use a smaller brush to do it, I'll just do it with this one. You can have a little more control. See? Little. See, that's probably even better than the one you gave. Mm hmm So, there you go. A little more control over that. Now, again, they're not going to stay white, but but that's a good place to put them. And it, look, see, you've got two right up, lined up like that. You, no, I do two, but I'm going to say you have them right there. I yeah, just yeah, found that's two. That's two. And that's two. Yeah, I like this, but I want you to just think about. So, so if, I have, if I have two like that, it's slightly now, off. It's okay. Now look, just try to make them a little more random, and I'll take a little one right here so that break that up. See, like this. Maybe I'll just, you know, just, you know, think about breaking shapes up. That's all. Think about breaking shapes up. Okay, now you're using the heel, not the not the. I'm using the toe. Are you? Okay. All right. Keep going. That's the toe, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm just looking at that going, are you sure? Okay, it is. One, just. Okay. That's good. Okay. Good. And some can be thicker and some can be, some can be smaller, some can be larger. Okay. So we're like, we're like, I say, we're planning this out. It's my garden. It's your garden. Yeah, there you go. And then have some touch. See, look, see how these two touch and these two touch, and there's three clusters of three, five, you know. So, some could be actually touching each other. Well, I could do this then. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, now you got three. Now go somewhere else. I am. I'm leaving. Yeah, that's good, right? That's good. You know, bring some out in front of your gate like that, and you've got that. See? And, and some fun. make some smaller. They're not all the same size. Some got yeah. maybe some that aren't. Have are as open, so they're just just Little there. Kind of also there. ran flowers. Okay. You think this would be easy to do, wouldn't you? And then bring a few up like this. Over, you got, you got to come up over the gate because you didn't give as much brick, so you got to come up. I mean, like the yeah, like back up in here, then the back yeah. part of this, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's a little guy. Okay, now this wouldn't necessarily touch. This should be behind. You want this. You see how I've got this? Some in front, some behind this to indicate that there's some depth going on here, right? Right. So again, 
you got to think about picture patterns. You've got three going in a row like this. So I would just erase that one right there and have it behind the gate. Okay, and not not being picky, but that's that's you're what you've got to you've got to think about the patterns, the patterns that you're making. You know, uh, all but about. I don't know how to erase. You taught me how to erase. Uh huh. Rinse, wipe, swipe. Rinse, wipe. Hit, 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 hit. Wipe. There you go. Just yeah, make that go behind the gate. Okay. Or behind that little post. There you go. That's it. So that flower's tucked in there behind. These are not. Okay, now that's a good start with flowers. So if we add any more, we can still add some more, and then if they're not white first, they'll be less of important. Right. Okay, so that's good. All right, so moving on to the other side, we got to plant something over here. All right. So I'm going to take some uh, little thalo blue and yellow, and maybe some buff titanium like that. Okay, maybe a little magenta, make kind of a soft pale green. A little bit more thalo. Kind of I want a blue green, okay? Kind of a pale blue green color. A patty green. Kind of a yeah, kind of, kind of a pale green green color. And I want to just come up here like this and I'm gonna suggest there's some leaves that are coming over the top of this in kind of rows like that. I was just gonna say there's some leaves coming up this way. See? And kind of curving them out like that. and um, like that and then when I come to this part um, if it helps you I'll, dr I'll draw them out I might just have a few here like this okay and I'm going to say that these are in here like that so this is the the you keep the very dark background and then you just say that this these are our lighter leaves coming this way okay, okay. And you made this color? I made this color with thalo blue of the buff titanium, which I can add a little more to our palette, and a little bit of the magenta in yellow. Okay, how are you doing? You doing pretty good? Yep. Okay. So we're just kind of, we're just keeping them, I guess if I were to draw it on a paper here, we're just sort of keeping everything. Um, you know, um, kind of going in this in this this general shape. That's what I'm trying to do. And there, I guess our bricks over here. You know, so that um, we're just saying that this is the top of the leaves, like that. You can kind of see it's in the reference. You can kind of see where they are, can't you? Kind of a little bit. Kind of a little bit. You can kind of get yeah. the feeling of that's what's there, right? So you just want to break that up a little bit and just not make it too perfect. But see how that's already, you know, looking awesome. How far down you went? And, I, and I kind of kept it at an angle, and they got they were they were bigger on top. See, see how they're bigger up here, and then they get smaller. So down in here, down by our gate here, they get kind of small. Just maybe it's one or two leaves, and it's not quite so curvy, but just just one or two leaves in here like this, because we're gonna have some other plants. We just right. this is just this this particular plant, and I might bring some a little bit in front of our gate right here like this, just creeping across. Right there, maybe it could be there like that. Okay, now there's too much of this, too much, don't keep repeating. Break that up. You just, you've just cloned this, 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 and this, all right? So that's okay, but I'm gonna put this, I've got the idea of that, but not quite that. Do you see that? And in this case, for instance, this is almost a, you know, this is almost a, oh, you see the patterns we're going for? This is almost a Y. You're still curving it, but um, so what you do, can I show you what you do with that? Can I show you? Can I do it? Look, what, if, if you have, all right, I'm going to make one. If you have something like, I'll just do it right here. If you've created something like this and you need to break that shape up, first off, let's make some more paint. The yellow, okay, let's make a little bit of one. 
All right, let's let's just let's just all right. I've done this, and I need to break that up. So what I can do is, I can come up here with something like that, and maybe come down over here with something like this, and just break that shape up. And then I've got another one. I'm just you just want to break the shape up so it gotcha. it isn't such an obvious curve. I mean, it's kind of going in that direction, but you don't want it that obvious. Here you go. So just break them up so they're different. Because there isn't, you know, your mind will just make the same shape over and over again. Okay. It's doing it quite well, I'm thinking. And then connect that to that somehow, maybe here, right on this end. Just connect these two together somehow. There you go, see? And how you broke that up, just by connecting them. Okay? Otherwise, your mind is just going to make the same it. thing. Saved it. Over saved and over my again. Painting. It's okay. There's not a save, because you could always come back with dark and break it up, too. I mean, you know where the dark paint is. So, for instance, if I wanted to, I could come back with some dark yeah, green. Yeah, now you told me another way to break things up. Yeah, here, there you go. So I'm going to come back with some dark green. Suppose I didn't like that. I could come back in here with some dark green. And um, let me just make mix that a little more. And break up a shape. If I, if I got carried away or I got too big of a pile, I could just come back and break it up that way, too. So just... Just be aware that what you've painted. Now we still need, now we need to put some flowers coming down here because there's nothing but flowers. And you're going well. Where did you you know? Since we're making up our flower garden, I mean, for instance, you, you see, like in this one, we have this is the bridge. If anybody hasn't done our heavenly bridge here, you see we've got some of this flowering tree back here, and we've got a few flowers. This is pretty basic. This one is the birthday lesson that I gave away, and it's still available for rent on 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 our website. Um, you see these little clusters of trees. This right. was more of a formal garden as opposed to stuff growing down a wall, right? Right. right? So, I mean, it kind of is a wall, but it isn't really. We can do more of that down in here. So we're going to say something grew down here. So I'd say let's take some purple and white, and let's just make, that's pretty, let's take a little ultramarine blue to that. Let's make some um, hydrangeas, right? And I'm going to just do some, well, maybe not that, just some sort of little tiny flowers, like purple flowers like that. Maybe they're roses, tiny little purple roses. That could be nice. And I'm just tapping them in here, little tiny ones, not very big. And we haven't done any white on them first, right? We're just tapping these in. Little tiny ones like this. They're growing on this vine, and I can tap them into some of the darker spaces up here like that, way over the top of that. See, this is fun. It's so much easier than planning it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say that back over in here, there's little clusters of these in this dark area, right, where they're they're kind of growing together in little clusters. Some loose ones here, like that. I'm saying these are that. Now they don't show up that well. So then what I would do is I take a little white, and add make it lighter, right. Now while it's still wet on the very top, I would add just about say between 10 o'clock and um, midnight if these were if these right, were circles that's where the sun's from. yeah so I'm gonna just take some white you know like this and lighten up these okay. not all of them see not some might be still in shape right, so just further a, back in it's further back in so I might just do a few of these where they're lighter um, roll the brush off just you can almost go into pure white paint because this is still wet you can get away with that. And we're saying they're lighter up here on top, a little bit more purpley. And of course, here's the thing: if you got them too white, you can glaze them over later. I never worry about getting anything too bright because you can come back at the end of the painting and glaze stuff over. But we're saying that there's this, these little flowers here, like that. Okay, like that. There we go. All right. So I'm saying that's those flowers. So I mean, on this side of the gate, that's pretty, right? Yeah, I like that. And that's diazinine purple, in case anybody's watching and wondering what that is. It's just <laughs> if anybody's out there and what anybody cares. Well, we're going to leave this up. So at some point, someone's going to say, "Someone's going to care." But you know what? We use the same colors that you know that video I did with Ginger. You know, with Ginger, Ginger's materials you. list. Oh. You know. The materials list, I mean, that feels pretty good. You see how that looks nice. Now have some lone ones. Those are all groups. I have a few little lone ones. You don't have any mm. small ones all by themselves. And now see how I've got, see how I've got a lone one, lone one, lone one. I, my guys are friendly. 
They have buddies. Okay, well, that's fine. It's your different, it's your flower. I don't know. And there could be more of these flowers up on top. See, like this, creeping over the wall here, like this. You know, maybe be, maybe they're going down on the other side of the wall too. We don't know. So they could just be up here like this, creeping down over the other side of the wall. All right. So those are those. You want, to, you want to try this brush? Because let me show you. Try this one. See if that isn't easier. You may like that one better. Do you oh, heck one? yeah. You feel him more control on yeah. that? Yeah. Okay, well then you keep that one. <laughs> Everybody's going to have brushes that they like that you know work better for them. So find the brush that works for you, right? There you go. So you're saying that there's mm -hmm. some light coming in. There's better, right? That, yeah. I think that fits more of your style of stuff, right? Yeah. It's definitely a better brush. Okay. Okay. Well, that's very good. I like that. That's great. That looks great. Now, you'll notice in the painting that we have some shadows here on this gate. I don't want to put them quite yet because... Um, We're still planning. Well, not only that, but I, this is still wet, so you know, we're going to wait. But I think we could plant some more stuff. We can, we can put some more stuff coming forward here right we could put a little more stuff going for it i'm almost tempted to say let me just get a little dark green going here with the yellow the thalo blue and a little bit of purple right i want to say that there might be in front of this walk right here yeah let's just say that there might be i'm just going to bring my flower garden that's too i want that's the greener too yellow i want i'm going to bring my flower garden out and just um, over here like this. I want to say I'm just going to make my walk a little bit wider here like this. I want, I'm, I want room for something else to be planted here. Okay. So, so I'm going to just say that this is more of the level part. That's coming down over the wall. And um, let's see, maybe I can take a... That's a good idea to hide a bunch of that stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to come down this far. So to kind of make our walk a little bit narrow, narrower like that. Narrower. It's coming over the wall. And then I'm going to say that there's just a couple little you know, maybe some grass is growing up here, and if I take a cup, there you go, just, there you go, a little bit, something's growing there. Now I'm taking yellow, right? Yeah. Well, I still can, a little bit of yellow, still still can, and I'm going to suggest some sort of little plant in here like this. I'm just making up a plant. Let's see, let's take a little white with the yellow, since I'm still evaluating how I like this. Okay, I'm just, because remember the light's coming this way that way so we're saying these are a little lighter that made this dark green let's see the two dark more yellow okay i want a little green here let's have a thalo green and yellow let's make a really bright green there we go i want a couple of these bright green spots in here like this i'm going to say that this is our now that's too much so i don't have enough space for the dark so i'm going to put some back see that i'm just going to put some dark space back there. All right, but I've got some sort of miscellaneous planting going on here. I haven't got any flowers in there yet, but I've got some miscellaneous plants that I can do something with here. See that? So it's basically your rough leaves going in there yeah, for just flowers going enough. on top. And then I could say, because I haven't decided what we're doing with here th there yet, so I'm still making this up. So, but I like that. That's a nice kind of miscellaneous planting. It's coming this way. And I've got it just about, what is that about? It stopped about an inch above here. I came yeah, down. Come that that Fell dark right yes dark, dark in here and again you can you know it just doesn't have to be too even so you did the ultramarine blue and the yellow yeah yeah try that and a little thalo blue with it and it makes it really dark there you go just a really dark green that's a really good dark green color and you can if you're not dark enough you can always add purple Purple is red and blue, so it'll it'll darken green. Okay, you just need some dark, so just sort of tap that in there. Let's see, and I'm gonna see what else other colors do I got here? I've got. Did I have? What is this? Oh yeah, Naples yellow. I really like this color. I'm going to get some of that out too. That's a really pretty color. 
long as we're fooling around with the colors. Yeah, nice. Okay, so you've got so you're saying something grew there. That's all. Yeah. That's all you're saying. All right, so let's let's do a new planting. I'm gonna just cover all this up right now because I don't need that. Okay, we're gonna do a new planting. All right. So I'm gonna just start with clean brush and rinse it off. And I'm gonna start with a let's start with um. We've got purple. Gold looks pretty good with purple. So let's start with some. Yeah, big couple. Let's see. Big right. wetness on there. All right. So I'm gonna just come up here like this, and I'm just gonna tap in some some ye yellow oxide, right? I'm just going to say I've got some sort of little yellow oxide flowers like growing in here. Some little golden rod thingy. Some little, little clumps of it. We're just going to say that there's some little yellow oxide flowers growing kind of this way. Like that. Just coming down here like this. Barely t touching it like that. Some little yellow little oxide. All right, that's all we're saying. There's some little yellow ones. And then I can take some of this lighter color like that. That was that... Um, the buff? The, or the, uh, the antique that was white? The antique white. No, it's actually called Naples yellow. Okay. This okay. one is? Yeah. This oh, Naples. that's the antique white. Yeah. The, no, that's buff titanium. We don't have any antique white out. Okay. But I'm looking at that to see if I like it, and I don't. So... I mean, that's why, I, let me let me just design this here, yeah. you know, because I'm not sure, sure that I like it. I know I want the darker gold, right? Yep. Like this, right? So here, I'm going to just scrape this off. This is why you... Reboot. Reboot. And that's okay. As long as you've dried in between, you can get, just going to wipe this off and start again because it got too big. There. There's a wet rag. And just wipe it off. And I think people don't realize you can do that. You know, it's okay to just, you know, decide. Okay, so I know I want some yellow flowers. I just didn't like how those were going. So let's start with this brush again. All right. Is that yeah. so wet up in there? Or? No, it's all right. It just, it's okay. There. Okay, so I'm going to wipe all that off. Now I'm going to just yellow oxide all over here by itself. Maybe I'll put a little cad yellow medium with it. See if I brighten like up that. a little bit. Yeah, yeah brighten it up. That's there a little bit better. All right, now using just the corner of the brush, I'm going to make some dots like that. I can see why you were having trouble with this brush. <laughs> so it wasn't me. No, I think this brush is a little more challenging. So would you like to go back to the one you gave me to use? Do we have two of these? Number I don't twos? know. Just see if we do. I think we do. Oh, this is much faster. It works better. I mean, for what you're trying to do. There we go. I got my yeah, number you two. Got your, all right, so that's, yeah. All right, so now I'm going to come up here. I want to break this up a bit like that. And I didn't do it. Over. Yellow only paints over white. So if you paint yellow over something dark, it's, it's automatically dark. going to, to recede into the background a little bit. So it's not going to be... See how many but it may be those. okay. Yeah. I think this is fine. We're just I want to skip a space and um and say okay. that uh there. Now I've got just there's our little dots and I want to put dots of paint and then lift the brush up almost like you're walking and stand, putting up your picking up your feet. Come down onto the walk. You want to make sure you go off the canvas. And it's kind of irregular with little bits of the dark background showing through. Now, again, if you if you don't get all the background showing through, this almost looks like that Scotch broom that used to grow when I was a kid. Did you have that where you lived? No, scotch no, broom? no Scotch broom. It's a, almost a weed in Seattle. Scotch broom, yellow. I don't know why they call it that. It must look like a Scotch broom. But it was these little yellow flowers. Okay, so we're saying that there's some sort of little yellow flowers here like that. That's pretty. I like that. Let's see. What else have we got? Where's our garden picture? You have that down by you, the one that's uh, that over here on the. So you have that big garden one? No, I moved it away so we can get paint on it. Oh, uh, you did. Family have it? No. That's no, all right. Well, we'll just we'll just. Where did I put it? That's all right. Oh, it's all right. Okay, so we've got that one. Okay. See, there you go. And you want to bring some out over the walk. You know what I mean? Like this. Bring some out, of, yeah. actually, over the walk. I was like heading that, that way. 
okay just over the walk like that okay so that you've got and we're doing it yellow is a complement of purple so um, you know you put some yellow it looks pretty good Okay. Again, you're getting kind of straight lines on there. <laughs> you're getting to try to keep things kind of curved and humped. You know what I mean? Kind of, kind of bring some hump. That's gonna bring. Yeah, I was about to that do that. Way. Guy. Okay. I was doing that. I wanted to leave a dark spot there. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay. And I'm, I'm coming down. You see, just kind of coming down. You see this little wedge. It's almost a heart shape. See, kind of a long, or like a lips or something. See the shape I've got going here. That's okay. You want them. A, you want them a little bit closer together. There you go. The dots. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to change colors now on us. Of course you are. And I'm going to say the next color we're going to do is some um, cad red medium and um, yellow. I'm going to make it kind of a pretty orange color. That's nice. No, that looks pretty with these. See what happened? Because that's that's kind of a nice, Ooh, that's yeah. a nice transition, right? If I'm saying I've got some sort of little, let's get some dark cad red medium first. Let's do a little dark first. We'll use that for the lighter. I'm gonna say that here's some cad red medium, and uh, I'm gonna say that there's some of these little flowers right here. Okay, like that. This is the lighter bit, on top. And if I take, here's naphthal crimson, if I take red, right, because I mean, if, if I do red, that's too strong. So I yeah. wouldn't want to do, red's too strong, but I need to come back here maybe with a little bit of cad red medium and magenta and, and tone this down a bit. Now, people, you know, I'm going to come back behind here like this. Now look what happened. I'm just That's cad red medium and magenta. And I'm going to come back into here with these darker red flowers. But this it was back here like that, okay? And just bring these forward. That's nice. Magenta, cad red medium. Okay. And I'm doing a whole little area of this front bit. We're gonna put all these flowers. And I'm pretty close together in here now. It's, uh, I'll come back maybe with some green in a minute and, and punch holes in that. But see, I've got. I think I almost want to take that off. But if I go down here like this in the front, okay, um, I might bring some of these brighter yellow ones in the front, like this of those in my walkway with a little bit of orange in it. There. So I'm going to just. I'm not trying to veer too far off the reservation with these flower colors. All right. Kind of looking in the mirror here like that. Or in our, our, um, now, need to, need, need to hide the highlight. So now here's the white and the magenta. Okay. So here's a little white. Let's see. Let's, 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 let's get some magenta over here next to the That's white. That's magenta and red now. Yeah, that's all right. I okay. need a little bit of lighter color, <laughs> right? So if I said I wanted to come up here next to here, let me just see how I like that color. Okay. So I'm not liking that as much. Let's really? try. Let's try red and white. I like that color. What color is that? Is that yeah, that's a little red and white. Let's just try a little. Yeah, that's nice. I like this. Whatever this is, like it's a little red and white. Whatever this is. I think that's a little red and white right there. But Nap see, and white. Good. Yeah. Mix in with your. Yeah, because this is still wet. So I'm just saying that there's okay. the there's the lighter part of that. I just need some lighter colors now. If I go up even more. When I say up, I mean brighter still. All right. You just added more white to it. Well, actually, I put a, now I put a little of the magenta on top, yeah. on top because I want the high. I want to say that this the dark red is the undercolor, and the magenta is the top layer. It's the top highlight. layer, and it's just sort of going into here like that. See, so I've got some nice red flowers in here. Then I come all the way down. And I've got, I do. I've got some nice red flowers in there now. That you see what oh. I've done? Now, wh why? Why is that funny? No, I'm looking at mine. I'm looking at yours. Mine is so, bam, bam, bam. I put rose in my babies. Well, and that maybe that's how you plant your garden. <laughs> 
Well, you apparently know. it is. <laughs> you know, so I mean, that, then that's okay. Maybe that's just how you plant your garden. It's just funny. So it's just you know. I just looked up, and then it caught me as a funny. It is kind of funny. I mean, that's 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 you know. And that's this okay. is my first garden I've done. Yeah, you've never done a garden. Never so done a garden. Ne- we're we're just and again we're making this up. Now. You're making it up. I'm trying to follow suit. Um. Yeah, I'm making this up. It's sort of fun. It is. You could just if you, if you just um, let's see where's the yellow oxide. I'm going to do a second layer in a couple places on here too. You know what I mean? How can it, because when you put the it's almost translucent, so it doesn't really show up all that well. But I'm just going to I don't want to talk too much about this. But here we go. Just second layer, a couple of these. There. Okay. So there's this flower. There's these red flowers. I like these red flowers. I'm tempted to bring. I need some flowers in the front. I know if we've got. We've got purple and stuff. We need some flowers in the front here. So what do you got? You got red. So what? Do you, whip out the color wheel. What do you think? What you look at? Well, we could. We yeah, could we go a with compliment. We got a blue. Yeah, we could go into these sort of purples here. That might be see, really that's, pretty. That's a lot of purple down there. Though. That's a lot well, of it's, red. It, it's, that's a lot of red. And we, you know, of course, we're going to have some green here. So we could go into. Maybe some put some green leaves like you did here. Well, we, we haven't done that yet. Though, though we got definitely get some green leaves. So I wonder if I want to just bring these flowers all the way down and get, not get. I think we'll bring them all the way down. Okay, so we're going to take put these flowers back into it. Yeah, so we're just going to just make these a little darker down toward the front. And just make this a whole flower bed of these red ones, like that down toward the bottom. Just cad red medium and magenta. There we go. All right, that's a good. That's a good use of our garden, like that. We're just gonna tap those in. Good use of our garden. That's interesting terminology. I know, isn't it? <laughs> you know, as a kid, we had these giant white roses that grew. Oh on yeah, the wall. huge. Beautiful wall. It was in our house over in Bellevue and Clyde Hill. We lived in a place called Clyde Hill. To places where that's worth so much money now. Bellevue's gotten so expensive because you know um, that's where Microsoft moved. Oh, and, um, figures. And um, anyway, we, my parents had a, ten acres on Clyde Hill back when it was cheap. You know, and it considered country living. Okay, so just a little bit of this pink here, like that in the front. When was the last time you were over there? Oh, years. I took you know twenty years, fifty years. I think I it's know. changed, any? Oh yeah. yeah, and it's but you know but you know we we had. Anyway, my mom had these these white roses, and they looked so good. I ate ate a couple. You ate the roses? Yeah, I was hoping they'd taste good. You know, they didn't, and then I guess she'd sprayed them with something. It was having a heart attack. I don't think they had poison control, but she was very concerned, right, that somehow I had um, ingested something you shouldn't have been. Well, you know, just as a kid, you know. I, think I, I didn't was, eat the flowers. Well, I want to try it because I was a real frosting kid. You know what I mean? Gonna put what does a rose have to do with frosting? Well, it looked like a lot like the frosting roses I liked. Um. I was hopeful. You know, I think it was about five. Didn't quite taste the same, did it? No. Now, see how I've got the orange in here, and, and then it goes into the red. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So I've mm. that cad red medium, and it's going into that red. That's really pretty, isn't it? I still haven't decided what color to do these. I'm working on that. I'm liking this. But uh, wow! Can you guys hear the thunder? It's thundering, it's thundering and lightning here. I hope everybody's had a nice Easter. Are we frozen? Well, I don't know. We're so. I guess we aren't. No, we're not frozen. I can see my head moving. I'm not frozen. That's <laughs> no, just thunder. We're not frozen. Okay. We're not frozen. Okay. So now you use this baby brush for all the red too. Uh huh. Do I need to clean? To wipe off my brush and yeah, keep yeah, going? Yeah. Well, first off, yeah, you're, you're coming down about this. You're, yeah, we're doing that. It, yeah, you want a little more orange in yours down in here. Yeah, just get more paint, a little more orange. And I'm thinking about these. Um, you need a different color, something unique. Well, it's going to have to be in the, you know, it's going to probably be in the pinks or the... Um, yeah, I'm thinking... I mean, how about a nice brunette on magenta? That one color you did over here. Yeah, it might, it might be nice to or have Or is that going to be counting too much over there? Well, let's see. If we put that over here. Uh, well, it just depends. <laughs> I'm just I'm just thinking about that. I, we've got... That's too much with the pink, pink tree up here, yeah, right? That's too that's much, too much with pink. the pink, pink tree. So, let's see. What would we want to put here? Thinking about flowers. So, if we got pink. We could do... Orange. You keep painting. I'll look at you. Keep painting as you look at this. You're getting by behind here. 
just uh, you know all right so I think um, let me just I think they're gonna have to be glazed over with something bigger brush maybe I mean we did them white here so what do I want here white flowers I don't want I don't think we want yellow ones you know yellow flowers but, you know yellow roses though there are such a thing as yellow roses yeah there are um, everybody's probably got an opinion about we have these shouts and people are shouting paint them you know something right let's um okay we'll take a survey what color should these guys be over here right over these guys right there what should we paint those what color should we paint those I'm thinking this is a great brush for this I can't believe you were having me use the other brush okay uh, remember that's your light color put your dark colors in first oh Pooh Bear uh, no that's not your dark it's these two right here these two colors right there those are your darker colors rinse your brush and start with your darker colors start with your that's darker that's not dark well they're they're deeper red right here that's the color you're using and then the pinks your, your light colors on top all right I'm thinking Ooh. I'm thinking maybe Yellow Rose of Texas, blue, yellow, pink, and lilac. Mm -hmm. Lilac, lavender, violet. Yeah, kind of a violet, I'm thinking. I think, a, you know, violet Quite or blue, beach. kind of a blue. Like, a, here's like, here's some, um, here's ultramarine blue and, and, and water, right? Pretty light. So if you, yeah, no, but this is a glazing. So if you go over them like this, now look here. If I go over these flowers like this with the blue. Water. Now look what happened. See? Okay, now look at that. Just, they're dry, see? So I'm just taking a little water and staining them all back, right? Then I can take a little purple and water. Maybe a little magenta with that. Let's try a little magenta and water. What have we got? Let's, let's see. Now remember, here's our shade. Oh, that's nice. Look, a little bit, little bit of magenta, yeah. and a little tiny bit of water on it. We're staining now. Okay, we're just saying that the right hand side of these is uh, stained. Oh, that's pretty. There, so they're just periwinkle. Yeah, almost a whatever these are. Almost a hydrangea with this color. You know what I mean? They look like hydrangeas now the way they are with this color all right okay so that's that's these that's pretty on this side I like that with kind of matches those a little bit but a little slightly different okay that's pretty oh that's good I like what you're doing there and then as long as I'm in those colors I want to just show you what I'm going to do with that here's some purple and water okay is this too confusing if I do too much no all right so I'm going to no, come yeah. along here like this with the with the water oh. and the purple I'm not ready for and that. And that's and too gonna, scary. That's way too I scary. I think that's a little bright. Let's put a little bit of yellow in the bright. gate. That's way too bright. A little bit of yellow in the gate. No, just I'll have a little you work bit of water. That out first. Yeah, have me work it out first. There's a little bit of water in the gate. Now I'm going to wipe that off because I don't like it completely. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I love this. This is what we're going to do. Here's Ginger's big plan. We're going to use glazing medium to do that, so that that's it, what I would have used. We're using oh, that's good. Good to have opinions. We'll let you have a few. Okay, keep <laughs> going with the dark. Back in there, get more paint. Okay, that's looking good, John. I mean, I'm looking up at the picture, and that's looking really good. I think what I don't want to get too far ahead of you. There you go. We're going. Oh, you go right ahead. I can okay. catch up to you. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of this glazing medium right here. I want to see how right it's going to work. You just keep working it out, and then Let's that's what I would Tell me. Use. Yeah, I'm going to use a little of this glazing medium. If anybody's wondering what this is, this is Grombacher's Retarder. But it's so actually... I thought you would have used that one. Well, I might have, but I'm, I've got... I grabbed this, so we're okay. going to try it. We're going to try it. You know? We don't like it, we'll do it again. Yeah, I'm going to add a little so bit there. Little now, clearer. Yeah, that's good, actually. That's good, because that, it will... There, I want this real thin. See, like this. I want to come across this gate like that. Let me just see how that's working. There you go. Oh, that's nice. 
I'm going to just do this at a cute angle like that. Let's see how that's right across this part of the gate, right up here like this. And our posts. Yeah, that that's lovely. Let's see, and then I'm just implying that there's some uh, from the posts, right? That there's some. Okay, now that's very soft and purple. That's nice, right? Now, if I wanted it a little bit darker, I'd put more more pigment in the in the medium. All right, so that's very nice. I like that. Coming across this like that. And I'm going to put a little ultramarine blue with that too. Let's just change the color just a hair. A little bit darker down here. And then if I did this in here, if I did it, I'm just looking to see if I did it on the walkway. If I like it, and I don't. Okay, so I liked it there, but I didn't like it on the walkway. I like it on the gate though. A little bit of purple on the gate, that's pretty. Okay, good. That definitely worked, that stuff. Okay, keep going with that. Now you want to get um, your light pinks on top. Here, you want to start putting your light pinks up here, and you want to go right into the red. So you got everything. You didn't get the, here. To get some more cad red medium with that. Let me show you. You're, you're not red enough. Come back in here with more cad red medium like that. Get some more of this color and that color right like that. This is too dark. You've got it's about half and half or whatever. But come back up here like this. Start dotting on the dar darker red. I mean, that red. Just go over what you've got. Okay. Because that's that's too close to the value of what you just had was too close to the the dark green, so it's not going to show up. Now look at the look at the monitor. See that's what see how now it's showing up. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I didn't want the red on there. Wow. Let me just take that off. I had red on there. Oh, okay. Put this back. I know one thing about glazing medium is that it stays wet for quite a while quite a while and it, there's a tendency to have it so you really have to kind of dry it then okay and if you need to erase something so the hair dryer will, will dry it yeah it should dry it should dry it I'm just gonna see I'm just pinching my brush with some water and I'm erasing a bit like that and I see what I'm doing so that um, I put it on there, and then I'm just erasing the, a little right. bit. So I've got some highlights. I also could come back with the paint and do that too. The thing of it is, is I could just come back with the paint, you know, the buff titanium, and put a little bit of it back in here. But this is a good way to erase it. So I've got the. Like that. There you go. That's pretty. All right, then that's, uh, let's see, this. can we put any of that on the gate, on the fence post too? Yeah, now look, you can, you can take a little of that. It might be on this, um, oh, perfect. It's going to be on this brick wall here, see? There's going to be a little of this color, not that much. Maybe a little bit coming this way. There we go, a little bit on the... Be a little bit on the brick wall too, see? And um, I like the little bit. Let me push that tree back a little bit there. Okay, that's that's fun. All right, now you're seeing where you're doing the lighter pink on the top. It's got to do the same thing. Okay, now you're going flat with me. Go, don't go flat on the brush. Go straight down. Here's your light pink. Here's your red and white, right? Like this, your light pink, okay? Now, roll it off your brush. If you're using your brush to mix, then you've got to just put it on the tip. Now look, right straight down like that. Almost vertical as opposed to using the side of it. Hold it down and get your lighter colors in there. And think about, think about curves, the flowers curving 
and you're doing the same kind of thing as you did up here so that this light pink stuff you're, you're doing a highlight and another highlight and another highlight area okay and you want to go straight down yeah then get more paint Yeah, there's the lights catching just the top of those flowers in there. Maybe there's, uh, some of them are in clumps. Some of them might be wider. There might be a whole clump of those that were quite light, okay? And then the darker ones underneath, that's okay, right? So you just got, got to imagine the flowers. And again, we're not doing any reference. We're making this up, which is a little harder to do because, you know, you're, you're just... Um, you're, you're just imagining where the light would be because you don't have an actual flower reference. The closest we have is this, right? To an actual flower reference. Okay. Well, now look up at the monitor. I think that looks very nice. And you want to bring something down off the corner like that. Okay. I like this uh, this glazing medium of the gel stuff. That's nice. Okay, so that's 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 very pretty. Nice. All right. I think that looks good. All right. Moving on. Just rinse your brush now. Moving on. Now, what we did here was we took a little bit of ultramarine blue and water and covered and colored those flowers, which is right up here. A little ultramarine blue and water and just covered those flowers. See? Okay. You want the bigger brush probably. I don't know. Try that. See? ultramarine blue and water just went all over those flowers right just pushed them all back there you go there you go Yeah, well, looking, I'm looking at your monitor in the mirror. That looks great. I mean, in the, our monitor, is like a mirror. I'm looking at your flowers. That's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, did you see how we made this sort of violet color? Which was uh, the magenta and a little ultramarine blue and water. Let's just make this violet color. See that? There you go. Now you just... That's over, you know, just part of them. Just like, the, like from... It's like from 12 to 6 or something. Or Okay, if you get too much water, it's because it, it's so wet, it's not going to stick. Do you see? Whatever you're doing there isn't going to stick. Try those real quick. Because it's, it's, it's just not going to stick. Dryer. Dryer. Here comes the dryer. Okay, so you've got that, right? I'm going to give it a try. Well, that's a lot easier when it's dry. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. So you just, you, you, mine's pretty, maybe you need more pigment. That's pretty loose. You need more pigment. So you don't have enough stain. So you've got too much water. So it's just ultramarine blue and, and magenta. Those are the two colors. So you you need to just make sure that you've got enough on there that now that's too that's too much. Okay, now go back into that water stuff, right? Now wiggle that around into here more because it's still too blue. Okay, all right. Now 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 wipe it off on your rag. Now go back and touch it. See how mine are just really nicely stained. You want to stain that, right? Okay. Now see if that's working for you. Is that does he need more magenta? That, is that working? Maybe Need a little more, more magenta. magenta. Drives me nuts. 
well, it's, it's, it, 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 it just, it's like cooking and anything else. And knowing the ratios of how much paint, yeah, that's better, right? So that magenta, you're just seeing how you've got that, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. And you've got that. So you've got, the flowers are just never just one color. Just, if you can just make, there, oh, that's pretty. Okay. Here we go. That's nice looking. Look at there, huh? Well, that looks great. Look at that. That's very pretty. And then you see they're, they're very nice. They're just beautiful. Okay. Now, I want you to go ahead and take, put that brush in water and get this bigger one out. And we want to just I'll show you the bigger one here. Here's our, this was our glazing medium. Okay, right like this. And here's a little tiny bit of purple. So very little, right? Here's our glazing medium. In fact, let me put some more glazing medium out because it looks like it's dried up a little bit. And I don't know that I don't know how long the, I don't know the shelf life of this. I rarely use stuff like this, so it's sort of fun. Which one brush what is I using this? The, that one's mine. Okay. So here's this with the with the purple. Okay. Like that. There you go, a little glazing medium. Let me just test it here. Yeah, that's working. Now, go ahead and, and at an angle, just imagine you can kind of, you've got the example here on the gate where they've got actually, you see this whole side of the gate right here, this little post right here is, um, let's just, um, I want to move the glazing medium. I, I almost need another palette. Next time, let's get another palette because I, I, it's mixing with other colors and I don't like it. All right, so there, let's try that. All right, there. Now I'm going to come up here like this with that. There you go. On this gate, this this gate, this post right here was um, was in shadow. Do you see that? That yeah. that left side of that post was in shadow. There you go. So try that. There you go. I think that should be good. You got enough on there. You should just be fine. Now go ahead and you know do the do this post and then start going across at an angle. And everything's going in really at a diagonal from here to the corner. It just goes at it. You don't have enough stuff on your brush. Not dark enough. There you go. Slow down. Okay, get more stuff. If you have to add a little more purple to it, you can. The purple's right there. In fact, I'll put some fresh dyes and purple out. Where's that going? Looking for dyes and purple. Here's some purple all by itself. Doesn't have any yellow in it. I think you need to add a little more purple to the mixture. Just a tiny bit of that purple. There you go. Just all the brush strokes are a diagonal. That's what you want to appreciate. All of my brush strokes are diagonal. Okay. And you want to go across some of the centerpieces too. See these posts. Want to cross over some of the posts because it's you know what I mean. It's an interesting thing if you haven't really used glazing medium before. Okay. And then these 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 are con con sorry. Just wipe that off. I don't know why that was on the brush like that. Here, take a clean rag, wipe it off. This is why we dry everything. Here we go. Here, just wipe that off. Okay. Actually, that's not bad. The streak, right like that. Okay, there you go. You want these, you want it to be diagonal lines on there too. Okay. Now, when you're painting that in, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and put your shadows in, right like that. Okay. 
Yeah, nice. And again, if you need to, you can always come back. Here's the thing. People just worry about that. You can always come back with the with the um, um, the buff to titanium, you know, the unbleached titanium, right? Like that. And if you got, if you lost, if you didn't get enough, you know what I mean? If you needed to put, you, to Some break it up, it, you know, yeah. you need to break it up. I think mine's a little darker than yours. But again, you can come back and break it up if you need to. Just come back with a few little dots of that, and it makes a big difference. Just, you know, as you see how the, how the angle of it goes. Yeah, there you go. I think I'd get a little more purple, make it a little bit darker on that side. Just put a little more purple on that. It, it, there's enough on your thing. So go just you can go right up there now. Yeah, on the corner. You want that little bit darker right there. And then you see where I did the 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 brick too, where it kind of went over the brick like that. See where I went over the brick? It just suggested some shadows. Very, where I'm going is very close to the edge. The, the, the outside edge is very close to where the plants are is where I've got it going, okay? Like in there, very close. I've got, I've kind of glazed over some of that grout just a little bit, okay? All right. All right, so far so good. We're in, we're, we're in good shape, okay? Now, all right, so now I'm going to take some yellow oxide and white. Ready? Yellow oxide and white. Okay, now look what's happened here. I'm going to come up here on the top of this. Now this is dried. And I'm going to make these flowers a little bit lighter. I'm saying the tops of these flowers right up in here like this are lighter. See? Now this is all makes a difference. Wherever there's a dark, there's a light. This has had a chance to dry. So now I'm like kind of light, light tending up those flowers right like that. See what that difference? Not too much, but just a couple places I've lightened up those flowers. You getting tired? Are you doing okay? Yep, doing fine. You're doing fine? You're doing good. You just got your little brush. Okay. It's just white and yellow oxide. That's all it was. We just came back up here and said some of the tops of that were lighter. Okay, so I had three brushes going here. Now I only have two. And they didn't fall in the water, so where's the third one? What does it look like? The one you're using. Do you have, uh, you've got both of them? What's that one right there? <gasps> no, it's not that one. I only have the two that I've been working with. It's this one, maybe. You had one of those quarter inch? Yeah, that, this one. This little tiny one right here. That's what I wanted. I couldn't find that one. Because this is a good brush to do with that. See here, take some white, yellow oxide, you know, mix the color. Roll off. If you're using the brush, roll it off when you're doing that. Roll it off and then just come straight down and make your little dots where you know you want it lighter. Just takes a second. You know, you'll see me do it very fast, but it just, just on the tops, just in a few places, you're going to lighten those up like that. Okay. Oh, that looks wonderful, John. I'm looking at that right now. That looks really good. Now, let's see, what do we want to do here? Okay, so, uh, okay, kind of look at, look up and see what you've got. You've got your highlights, right? You want to make sure you've got some right on the tip of those. Okay, now you're, you're going flat on me, even with this brush. Straight up and down, make the little dots. Straight up and down, make the little dots. Try not to go flat on the brush. And it's how hard you push, okay? And this takes practice. I mean, it's how hard you push on this, but it's look, looking good. I think you still could be darker on the gate. I think your gate's a little light. See that for your shadow? It's not really def def defined. So I'd go over there with a second coat on the gate on your on your shadow. See how much darker it is value-wise if we were on, on the gate? Mm -hmm. We're not dark enough on the gate. 
So I would just dry it and then just do it again. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm going to figure out what to put over here. Okay, so we're going to plant some new flowers over here. What are we going to put over here? Maybe some little... Let's see, what will we put over here? Hair dryer. Hair dryer, all right. I'm just showing you so when you catch up with me, I've just did some little kind of like hollyhock things here going up here, a little pink and then some pink dots going up here. I'm saying so you did of, like a like a little a vertical nap. yeah, a little vertical flower. Okay. So just, That's a good idea. A little you know, snapdragon type thing. You know, just something right there. I've got some little vertical flower going up there. Which I think is cute, right? And I want some more of this orange flower over here. Let's do this. Go back to pink. I need to make an opening for my gate to open. I'm all the way in the ground. Okay. Okay, so I'm thinking about that. I love love this because if I don't like it, I can take it off. So, don't like it, taking it off. So, good. While you're doing that, Ginger's redoing this. You don't like those guys? No, I don't like them. Hmm. Well, you liked them, but I didn't like them. Do, 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 do. Just going to erase them. Because if you dried it, you can erase anything. I like the orange ones. The pink ones I wasn't sure that I liked, so I don't want them. Well, I might like these. I like yellow ones. Oh, the yellow's pretty. Yellow's pretty. Orange is pretty. Wow, that's bright. A bright orange. Yeah, I don't think I want it that bright. That's easy to do. That's easy, easy to fix. It just Smush it around. Smush it around and see if I like those colors in here like that. Well, I like the yellow, but I don't like those. So. <laughs> well, I mean, people say, how does she design a painting? I mean, and this is this what is I what, do. And this, this is, is what exactly. I do. This is what I do. It's just come up and say, I didn't go like that. Go through tons of paint and go, nope, don't like that either. Don't like that either. Let's see, what do I got here? I like the, I'm liking the yellow. Just a few little bits of yellow. Just suggest that there's some yellow growing here without being too talkative about it. Yeah, on this side. That's nice. Just sort of random yellow. That's pretty. That works for my gate. Some just uh, odd little random flowers here. And a little tiny bit of these orange ones over here. Back here like that. OK, 
okay. That's cute. I like that. And I don't know that I like the hollyhocks here, but I think I can take some green and fix those because they're a little weird. So I'm going to say if I had some little green leaves here like that. Don't like that either. Alright, so the hollyhocks are coming out. See, as long as you haven't dried anything, you can erase. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. So just keep it wet or take it out. When in doubt, throw it out, right? I like the purple yeah, on your gate other. better. That's better. To deepen that. Alright, let's just wipe this off here like this. I think what we're going to say happened on the gate is just some nice little green somethings that are coming up. Maybe some grasses as opposed to just any particular, um, you know what I mean, any particular kind of plant. I just think it could be some sort of little grasses that came out this way. Let's see if we like that. Yeah, kind of like that. That's okay. It doesn't have to be anything right there. Okay. That's better. Just some grasses. And you don't have to do anything if you want to. Just put the gate back. Kind of. All right. So I'm going to say, oh, that could be. You know what that could be. You're going, what could that be? That's kind of pretty. What if there were some little, just something, little dots of something growing on there like that? I've seen those kind of flowers before. Yeah. All green and just have a little yeah, little kind of little dots or something, little white little dots, buttercup thingies or something. Yeah, little dots of something going up here like that. Okay, do I like that? No. <laughs> I don't want you to do it if I don't like it. Part of it. Well, maybe know, I like it. I want to do it. Well, here's the thing. Here's what happened to that. Let me show you what happened to that. What happened to that is that I didn't dry it in between, so everything mushed up. Yeah, I see that now. Say so, so if you don't. Now you get in a mess. So if you, you that really important is that thing about acrylics, it doesn't really matter what you do. As long as you dry. To, you've got it dry in between like that. Let's see, where's our uh, yellow, yellow? Here's our, yeah, a little bit of burnt sienna. Just going to put my gate back. Uh, we're getting down to the end of our paint here. You're doing good, though. I'm seeing that. Seeing that. You're doing good. Right like that. There's going to put my bricks back. <sighs> Putting little bricks back. There it goes. Soften that like this. Actually, that didn't put those back at all. All right, let's just take that off. Okay. Ah. Okay. I don't want this color. There we go. Just, just put that back. There we go. Perfect. All right, we're just going to leave all that alone. Just maybe have a little something going up here. Like, well, what happened here? Ah, oh, the rag was dirty. See that? All right. Okay. Now, put everything back. And at some point, you got to dry. So you're seeing you're seeing it. Your shadows, right, are coming here, and that's that burnt sienna color. Yeah. Right. That's too dark. Put some of that. You've got some shadows. Put some of that um, buff titanium with it. That's a little bit. You see, you're a little bit dark on that shadows because these flowers aren't showing up. Wherever there's a light, there's a dark, so we're just sort of out of that. Let me just put it in a new place for you. There you go. That is so weird looking. I know. No, no, no. Here, mix a color. Take this like this. Take your buff titanium like this and mix it with your burnt sienna and make it make that shadow color. So it's not so dark. See? See here, I'm gonna show you right like that. There's my shadow color. It's not so dark. You can even put a little purple with it if you want tiny bit of purple with it that's okay but you don't want it that dark okay like that okay and, and again um, try to have it a little bit more um, random in other words you've got it you, you've got this right. perfectly good um, here I'm going to put some white back over it so you can see what I'm talking about you can even pop, poke a hole in it like that. Now look what I've just done. Poked a hole in it and put little light shadows like that. Poked a hole. Okay. There you go. So there's my walkway going up with some shadows. 
And I want it darker. Here's where I really want it darker is right here in this corner. Put a little purple with it. Right here in this corner. I want it a little bit darker right here. Okay, that's there you go. A little bit darker right here, but you know, basically you want this to be and you've got a guide here about kind of how it is. Okay. So that there's a little bit of a shadow here like that on our walkway. Just kind of break it up a bit. There you go. Okay. Okay, now you Okay, so soften your edges. What? So, well, like, for instance, like here, I've got it. I've got this color right here, and a little bit of the buff. Right here's my color. Right, so I'm going to come in here like this and make a little shadow color. Then I'll come back with some buff and go around it. You want to soften your edges a little bit. You know, you don't want anything to, you know, soften your edges. Go back and forth with the brush, soften your edges. There you go, and try, try to avoid. This is your angle, so try to get some of this longer. For instance, here, I want this is maybe this one is coming out this way with a little bit of shadow. You don't know what's shading from up here. There could be a tree, there could be anything up here, but that's too much of a walkway. So we're saying that there's some shadows going across our walkway that are not necessarily even having to be um, caused by these plants, but by something else that's out of out of the picture okay so and then we're just kind of darkening it up down toward the bottom just if I can show you with chalk try to make it up just you know here's your here's your your walkway like this okay Okay, like this, and so try to do something more random. So that it's, you know, try. I know it's hard to be random because you're at the sock folder, but try to be more random. Um, like a graph is not, you know, nothing. There you go. That's it. That's it. You know, a little bit more random. That's it. Then pick up your brush and move it, and then maybe like pick it up and move it and do a little spot of color. You know what I mean? Have a little spot of color. Pick it up and move it. So there could be a little bit. In other words, we're breaking up the walkway. That's it. And then down toward the bottom, we have longer shadows. There you go. So it's down toward the bottom. Very nice. That looks good, John. I mean, that looks very good. I think you're doing great with this. I think he's doing great. Don't you guys think he's doing great? What's John doing now? I don't think so. They don't have a clue what I'm doing. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Are you asking questions like that? I think you're doing good. All right. There you go. So you've softened up those shadows. What you told me to do? That's what I wanted you to do. There you go. Okay. All right. Now. That doesn't look bad at all. That looks good. Yeah, that looks absolutely excellent. Did we decide what we're doing over here? Yeah, we did a few little of these yellow things. Just small little yellow things in here, you know. Just right. And then a couple little orange things here. Okay, and we're that's just, it? That's um, it. You're not going to do anything in that corner? I, no, I'm not doing anything yeah. in that corner. That's the corner. I'm just going to leave that <laughs> as, the, as the brick. I'm going to put my little brick back right here, like here with the edge of my brick wall. You know, just anybody know how long we've been at this? I don't know. I didn't bring my watch. What do we got going here? What does it say? Can you see it? Oops. <laughs> He's meditating. Yeah, I'm meditating. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I want to say that there's a little plaque here. On oh, I, I'm not doing a plaque. Mm -mm. No. No. All I'm right. not going to do. A, you can do a plaque. Well, look. I'm going to just show you how easy. Where's my tape? Just want to show you how easy it would. Give me the other tape, the other tape, that no, other stuff, that one, the one underneath it, that one, that tape. All right. I just want you to see how easy it would be to do a plaque. Okay. I don't doubt you. Now here, give me a palette knife. What's uh, the one you had earlier? I forget. I don't know where it is. I don't want to be responsible. I'm going to hold it up like that. <laughs> you don't want to be responsible. You're not. Don't worry. Yeah. All right. See this? Yeah. See this? I think that's a good size for plaque, about like that. Maybe about like square, yay. Yeah, about like yay. About square. like yay. Got to do it like yay. Yeah, yeah, square, right? Like this, about this, about this big, right? Right, yeah, I'm with you. So I'm going to say it's about that big. Okay? There's your plaque. There's my plaque. Now, I call it good. Now, now, I'm going to come around it like this. Oh, ha, ha. It's a method to my madness, right? I'm going to come around my plaque like this.
So you like that. I guess I could have just drawn a square, but that's too much trouble. <laughs> okay, I can't do that. Okay, you want to fix that? I got to fix that. Okay, all right, there you go. Okay. I don't know what you were lining up on, but it wasn't reality. Okay, now, <laughs> then we take the... What? What? Oh, he's going to be great with buildings, isn't he? All right, so you got there. Now, look, look, look. I'll punch it out. I'm going to punch this out. I'm going to take an exacto and I've <laughs> got that big Now I've right. got, this is where I want my plaque, right? I'm going to yeah. squish that down. Now I'm going to say that my plaque is going to be. What's, what's your plaque going to be? Oh, I think I'll make Would it you purple. Would you do white first? Pur pur Would you put white down first? To make I'll it? make it a purple plaque. Kind of a, a purple, purple plaque? Purple. It's going to go with these flowers then. It, it kind of a purple pl purple plaque, almost like a purpley um, gray. Let's yeah. put a little bit of dazzling purple and white and cad red medium and let's see how that works. And a little bit of cad red medium, dazzling purple. Okay, I'm gonna say it's that color plaque, right? Like that. Okay, so it kind of cad red medium has yellow in it, and yellow gray is purple. Okay, right. so I'm gonna say that there's my plaque. Like it's a that. beautiful plaque. Yeah, and it's, it's just not gonna. It's not scream. It's kind of a mauve color. Right. Now hair dryer. It's not going to say too much, but I want to. I want to just, you know, have like the number of the, you know, the gate. Or my initial or something like that. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to wait. Now, now wait, wait, wait. Do you want to add any other colors to it or anything else, or do you want to write on it? Why you don't? Why you're so protected? Well, I don't know. I might take a little bit, good point, I might take a little bit of this buff titanium, come across. Give a little bit of grain, weathering, yeah, weather while you're the still protected. A little bit, you know, still protected like that, weather the plaque a little bit, like that, at a diagonal, there you go, good. Okay, now I don't think, I think I'm going to take all this off. Do that one and take them all off. Yeah, see? Now. Ooh, maybe I will do a black. Now, now I'm going to say take a little bit of. Put a big of, G on it. Yeah, big G for ginger. Uh-huh. Yeah, now here's Not this with big G for good. Oh, I could do that too. All right, here's a little bit of kind of a, I think we want Rusty. a little bit kind of a rust color. I want to come under here, the plaque like this, and put a little shadow under it like that. Really? Maybe on this side. Just give it a mm. little tiny bit of a shadow. Not much. Just um. Just thin that out with a little bit of water, but a little tiny bit of a shadow under my plaque. Not much. Just Do you think I'd bother you for more cad yellow or yeah. medium? Yeah, here, tell the hairdryer. I'll take the hairdryer from you. Cad yellow, that's cad yellow. Where do we put that? Oh, they are not put away alphabetically, are they? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what planet do you live on? Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of the white Okay, the and, I, and I'm going to just say here's the light edge to my plaque, right like this. I can put that in freehand like that. See? And then just, there we go. There, there's a little white, there's a little light edge to my plaque, see? I'm liking it. You like that? And just then give it a little bit of depth. And then a little tiny bit on the top like that. There you go, so the two, two sides. Okay, so there's my little plaque right there, a little bit of light edge, right like that. Now, I think personally that on the plaque here, what we want is um, I think the darker was good actually here like that. There we go. All right, so there's our plaque right there. Now I need to have a um, uh, let's see, where'd that mauve color go that we made the plaque out of? Where'd that go? That one right there. Okay. Pretty dried back. out already. Yeah, they're gonna put that back. Now I'm gonna just. I need a tiny. I would probably. Um, let's see. Let's take a little bit of the grout color. Put on this side. Wow, there's something smaller on the brush. There we go. A little tiny bit of the grout color back as we lost that. Okay. 
right, I want a number on here. And now this is where a pen would be good. One of our art pens would be good to write on there because that's a, kind of like a tough one to do. Sorry. Well, there wouldn't be any in there. And, and I don't know if there's any in that can. Do you have any art pens left? I do not see one in here. All right, do you have a little pointy brush? We can use that. A little pointy brush in here. Let's see if I can. Uh, like a little zero, zero, zero is what we're oh, looking wait. for. I have this one here. That's zero, what zero. I, want. I, what I pulled want. that earlier thinking we may need it. Okay, so I'm thinking like a G or something for Ginger. I thought you were going to do a number. You changed your mind again. Well, you could do 888 because that's your favorite number. You could I do just eight. put an 8. You could do an 8, and I could do a G right here. I'm going to do it in and gold, I think. Well, wow, that's a challenge to write. Yeah, let's. Uh, this is where the the flow paint would be would be nice, because this is so rough that it's very it's a real challenge to write anything because the, the the canvas is so rough. Yeah. That when you try to make the all right, so the trick it's is... It's like writing on pebbles. Yeah, it is, but I'm going to take a little bit of the purple and come back on the inside of this. There. There's my G with a little dot. Okay, but you know, you could put anything on this. I mean, that's the idea behind this is you could put anything on your plaque. It's your plaque. It's your plaque. I'm going to say, I think I want this darker, a little bit of dark. Something dark back here. Oh, my brick can put my... lost my grout here when I did the plaque somehow. I lost the grout. So I'll put that back. Alright, so could, could I make that a little lighter? Maybe doesn't have to say too much. Sometimes, you know, you could just say a little bit of something. doesn't have to say too much. Let's take a little bit darker here on the bottom of this. There we go. Darken that plaque up a little bit so it shows up. But, you know, that I think that's just something. Sometimes when you're doing something like that, that can be fun. I think what's happened is my yellow oxide's dried up. There's none left, so you can't really paint anything with it if there's no paint. I'm going to do this. We're going to put the yellow oxide on here. There you go. Playing like that. There's a little dot. There. Wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So even though there wouldn't technically be one, I'm going to put a little edge to this plaque. A little gold edge because I can't, it's not showing up enough. There. Okay. That's not looking too bad. Well, let's see, John. That's awesome. That's wonderful. That's terrific. Look at your flowers. You did great. You did a couple flowers. little yellows right there. That's little, what it's going to do. Just a few little, just a few little dots just of some. yellow. Just something little yellow things growing here, right like that. Some little yellow things growing, and you've got to, you've got to. I mean, I'm just trying to see here. I'm just, I'm kind of. Let me put this here so I can kind of see them. Let me move this. Yeah. So I think where we're losing it for you is we don't have enough highlights on this side of these flowers. Do you see no, that? No, I definitely don't have enough whites. You need, need I some. I have baby whites. You got big whites. Yeah, you need some brighter lights. And you see why I went in here with the... Yeah, you came back with an orange, a stronger orange. I came back orange. with a cadmium medium and red. I made a really strong orange right in here. Do you see what I mean? Really right in here and made this sort of cad red medium and red right That's right true. in here like that. Yeah, I need so that. Right on, can I show you? Right right on here. No, no, right on here. Here, take the brush. Right on this one? Well, yeah, it's the base. See, I did it down here. Right across, I can do right across yeah, yeah, here. Uh -huh, yeah, right across there. Here, take the brush. I've got it loaded. That's that little pointy three, three oh, triple zero. Me. Yeah, try it, try it in there. Yeah, go right on top of those dark ones. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and that's that color right there. Okay. Right here. You can kind of see. But I would say, I, I'm thinking that these look lovely. We should have a handle on the gate. Oh, we need a handle. 
Do you think we need a handle on the gate? You probably how, do. How do people get in? Push it with their foot. Hey, at least I let it open. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't have yeah, it open before. Yeah, so we, we need a handle on the gate. So how could we do that, you know? Just a little black. Not black, but I mean, just a dark, really... I mean... That's just a... I okay, what is it? They have a latch. Yeah, but I don't want a latch. I think it should look like this. Let me show you. I think the handle should look like here. I think it should look like this. Okay, you're looking at this dead on. You so then it would just be, just be a straight, be a straight, line. straight line like this, right? That's all you're going to see. Because we're right so I on. I think so. Where's my little tiny brush, the one that you just had? I just washed it off for you. Thank so you. Dry it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm hmm. I'm going to just Here's take some purple now. Look. Can you swap these two things again? Sure. Let's do that. I say let's swap <laughs> those. Now, look. I'm going to take some purple right here. Like that. little dot right like that. And then just connect a handle here like that. Just a dot on the top and the bottom. There. I just think it needs to be... You know, it just needs something. It just needed a handle. Don't you think so? It just needed a handle. I just feel like one should be able to get into the gate. I mean, we didn't get crazy with the hinges or anything. But one, one does need to get into the gate. And we didn't kind of darken this edge or any of that stuff. We kept it pretty safe. This plaque, i got to tell you, it's not. It's all muddy. It got... It got muddy. We got well, because it, it dried out. I mean, when it, it dried, it, it darkened it, it a lot. It dried, it darkened a lot. We're putting in the plaque again. We're going to try it some light purple. Ginger's not happy with the plaque. I'm going to put a light purple. Oh, let's just put a light. There we go. I'm going to redo the plaque because I'm not liking the plaque at all. Maybe I could have some blue and white. What's, what do we got here? Anything like that? Some sort of blue and white? Yeah, let's just, let's just oh, better. Here, I'm going to just dark, lighten the plaque up. There we go. It's not quite as nifty as when I had it all taped in. I have to tell you, the taping it in was much better than pa painting so really it the So really, you should leave the tape there until you're completely done with it and you like it. It's dried and everything, really. Yeah, I'm probably. Thinking. Probably it's not a bad plan because I'm not liking the... Because it really, it really darkened down a lot. It did. When it dried, it darkened down so much and I don't like it. So I'm just going to take some purple now and write the letter G. That's brave, isn't it? There, okay, that's better, right? Light, light black, dark purple G. You really like purple, don't you? Well, I mean, you could do, you know, I mean, look, there's not, it's an orange thing. Right. So, you know, what's going to yeah. show up on this orange brick? Not orange. You know, black plaque, but then your eye would go right to it. So yeah. you can, you know, I just think a light with the black, you know, again, you don't have to do it. You could just put a number, house number, just look like a nice thing. And I'm not going to get too creative with it under the, other than that, just saying that's it. That's my, that's my big plan on the plaque. That's a great plan on the plaque. I like the plaque. But I think that when there's a residence of some kind, it's nice to be able to, you know, say that somebody lives there, right? And, and you know, who, whose place is this? Exactly. So this is my what? Fourth? This is... Sixth? You, this Sixth is maybe? really good. I think, you, you, you know, if, you're, if your mom was alive, she'd be so really proud of you. Really like well, that. I think it'll get better as I keep working too. Okay, get, and you know, you're getting the idea. And this was not, somebody asked if this was too tricky of a lesson, and I don't think so. I think that that it's detailed, but I don't think it's it's tricky, right? No. And again, you can put some um, of your light back into your gate if you need to, a couple of places. So there we go. There we go. And if you need to put a little light back on your road, a couple of places. And we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it. We're gonna call it done. What do you think? You, you, you were. Oh yeah, you're still doing your. You're, you're doing your your handle. I did want you to lighten up those. Plants, well, yeah, I was gonna though. come back to that if that dried over there because I can put my hand on it. Yeah, and then lighten those up. But this is sort of. I mean, this is really fun. Wasn't that fun? Did you like yeah, that? Yeah, it was fun. And I mean, that's quite. I mean, if you think that we went from here, you just think about what we did. We took this kind of an interesting picture. And Give me that double O. 
and just um, the double O brush, triple O brush, quadro brush. Well, yeah, we colorized it. You just had it a second ago, didn't you? I gave it to you. No. Yeah, I did. No, because you were playing with it with the letter. Oh yeah, that's right. I lied. I didn't give it to you. <laughs> I lied. Thought I gave it to you. I but know. I didn't. I didn't give it to you. I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. I think that's very cute. Okay. So you're gonna go back, and what are you doing there? I'm making a little dots at the end. Okay, little dots at the end for your handle. Yeah. Okay. All right, good. You just cannot do that with a bigger brush. Yeah. All right. No. Oh, you know like what we that. didn't do? What we didn't what? do? Well, I mean, I'm just saying that, you know, what we didn't do is we didn't go back with some light greens in our front flowers, right? So I'm going to take this, make a light green color, really light kind of celery almost, light celery green, right? That's not green anymore. I, it's going to be. Just, just, I'm work, work with me here. It's going to be, right? <laughs> it's getting now, there. It's, it's working. Now, uh, let's see. Yeah. That just, okay, that's too light. Let's take a little bit more blue with it. Oh, that's a go. <laughs> All right, now look, when you're starting with that, there, there, there you go. Now I'm going to just put some, all right, I'm going to put some ultra. I, I need a green here, but I don't want, I don't want Irish soap green, okay? Well, I remember Irish soap. Do you remember that? Yeah. Irish spring green. I don't want so I put a little purple with that. I just want a green, a little bit of a green here. Just kind of make a different green. I need That's some green. That's a dirty patty. Yeah, it's a dirty, because I mean, it's, it's kind of a grade green. That's what we want. We want a grade green. So I'm just going to come up here like this and oh, put in. I don't in. know if I like that, honestly. No? You don't like it? I, looking at the monitor, I, I'm really not getting it. Well, then I... I'm, the, I'm going to avoid that one. Well, let's not I, do I, it then. I let's agree just, the white with the top on my top guys. Okay, all right. So maybe that. we'll just leave those alone then. I'll just come back with I, my purple and make, make the little dark, dark spots back in here. Okay. So that was just white and purple. Yeah, that was now just... Now that's all dry. Yeah, it's all right. Just to make a light purple, kind of a, mostly white with a little purple in it. And just, I can use yeah. that guy. Yeah, all right. So we'll just leave those alone. Do, would, do you agree? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's taking your eye away, and I think it's kind of nice. Just keep it plain. Keep it simple. That's one of the good rules. Keep it simple. Yeah, good. Because, go. again, I think what happens to people is that, you know, acrylics dry darker, so you're looking around. It looked all fine when you were doing it, right? Well, yeah, these really look pretty good when I was doing them. And then when you go to back to you you come know, back getting to the it colors, and, and then you're going, oh, what happened to the colors? They're gone. And that, and that, and that really does, that can be really... Um, Disheartening. Well, yeah, because you're just sitting there going, yeah, it looked good for a second. Where'd the lid go to this? Take that out. And, uh... I think we have to have his and her paints and palettes. Well, if, you know, if we had room, we would definitely do that. Okay, now think about that when you're doing that. Um, look at the monitor, because, you again, again, you don't want to cover up the whole flower. Use the smaller brush. Don't cover up the whole flower. You're just talking about tiny little, tiny little bits of paint. You got way too much paint on there. Go back with some purple. You got way too much. You've got globs of it. You're globbing it on. <laughs> don't glob it on. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Come on, don't hold back now. I'm not holding it back. You're globbing it on. You don't want to glob it on. So you gotta you gotta unglob it now, right? You're gonna come back and because you net Okay, what you may have to do is dry it and come back and fix it. Because at that point you'll just save it, save it, and then dry it. And come back. And fix I messed it. up. Hair so, dryer. Okay. All right. Everything's drying out. We're all out of paint. I think that we're done because we're all out of paint. You know what I mean? It's one of those deals where we do something else, but we're we're, we're all out, of, out paint. of paint. You know, so we can't really do anything else because we're out of paint. <laughs> we shot the wand. What, what just, were you doing? It's just going back and and putting oh, a few, okay. putting a few holes back in my tree. All right, guide me, boss. 
Okay, so now look, I'm gonna kind of do one. Do one. All right, so I'm gonna do That's one. That's the purple. That's the purple. So let's take a little bit of white with that because it's not pure purple like that. Here's some white, a little bit of purple. Okay, like that. So it's darker. So you want to come back underneath this and just tap it out. So you barely see the bottom part, the underneath part of this is dark and the light part. So just come in here and just, you know, I want you to see, you barely see the light. It's there, but you just barely see it. See that? You I see what you're saying, but it sure looks like you see a lot more of it. It does. It does. Because what you've done is, too, is that you've got these flowers. Now, this is important. You've got a, so there should be some light on this flower right here. These right. are actually three or four flowers. There's some light here. There's some light here. There's some light here because that's a flower, and there's some dark underneath here. So go ahead and put some darks back and then put the lights. Really, you've got to think about between 6 and 3 o'clock, something like that, uh, 12 and 3 o'clock, something like that on your flowers so when you get that light. Or maybe in your case, because of where the light's coming, it's between nine and twelve. It doesn't really matter. But pick, you don't. You do about a third of it. Okay, there you go. So you want to just kind of darken up some of it, and then you can come back with some light and hit it. Because you think of the lights coming from here and just catching the tops of these. Really, that's all it's doing. It's just catching the tops of these flowers, barely catching it, and you just the tiniest little dots of light color. Okay. Barely, no, but no, I'm t I'll do a couple more. See, I'm barely touching it. See, barely on the top of this. I'm just barely touching it. Okay, so you've done a couple of flowers in your life, haven't you? I have. I have. And, you know, and everybody does the same kind of thing when they first start out. So that's a, a it's good to know. It's good to know that I'm not the only one doing this. Well, I mean, it's a We happens. all do this. Yeah, it happens. So there you go. So you just got a little bit of light. Go back here and don't do a lot. Just a couple dots and move on. A couple dots and move on. Yeah, and then there's a, this is a flower here, so do a dot on top part of that one. Okay, yeah, that's it. A couple of dots and move on. There you go. You can always, and then go look and see. One, two, stop, you know. Now look how much better that looks. And then it's going to be really more, whoops, gosh, I got paint all over <laughs> me. It's going to be really more up in the top. <laughs> <laughs> From a distance. <laughs> Be I need to more give you a laser up in, pointer. Up, up in here. See the top of these, up where the gate right. is. It's going to be. They're going to be, be lighter, more lighter up, up here. Up there. Lighter well, up I need there. To, I need to do a whole other group there. I you don't could. have as many flowers. I need more flowers. Well, that's true. But Maybe. we don't have enough. That's all right. This is my first painting of this one. But I'm going to come back and do this one again. Really, you don't have to. Let's we'll keep moving on. We'll make more paintings. We've got all oh, these we great will. paintings. You could come back, you know, and. Um, Look, we've got some great pictures here. I think one of the. I think now, if you look at this one, which you perceived as rather difficult, you see how. You think I'm, so, mm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that you're seeing how you know you're, you're doing it. It's the same it. thing. It's the same thing. It's just a little more complicated. I love this one, and this one is um, you know available, you know for download for anybody that wants to come play on our website, gingercooklive.gallery. If anybody's watching this. Okay, Any yeah, that that's better. See, there you go. That's it. More flowers I up there. I need darker, though. I need, I need yeah, a, little a little darker under there. Yeah, a little bit darker. Yeah, just Look a, at just, me. Look at me. Look at I'm there. a florist. And every once in a while, if you have to go darker, wipe your brush off. And rather than rinse it, wipe it off. Just get in the habit of pinching your brush, when you're, your brush. Changing, when you're changing colors. And I, I'd say we were... Um, I'd say we were pretty close to done. I think, I think you could be really proud of that. still want a little bit of dark under here. With this, you could literally play with this for days. Yeah, and then a little bit of color surprise and have that little color drip down on this. You know, like this, just a little bit of color on stuff. I mean, it's a, it's a, I think it's a pretty painting. I think it was a good, it was a good photograph to try and pick something from. Sure. You know, to, you know, how would you design a painting? I mean, we didn't, you know, in this, this particular case, you see this book. They did all these boards. There are actually some planks going on oh, this yeah, day. Yeah. And I, I didn't like, you've got to, the reason you wouldn't do that is because, um, and actually the shadow kind of curves this way too. I'm seeing that. There's a little bit of a shadow that's kind of curving this way under here like that. But um, it gets too busy. So, I, I mean, I, I, I would say we've got, uh, we, we did really well with that. I think that's really pretty. I think it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm going to just uh, cut this off here at the angle like that. Well, guys, I think we're winding down. We've we enjoy having you. 
you flies on the wall. Thanks for being flies on the wall of our of our picture. And Sorry we didn't really look at the chat. Hope you didn't say anything too important. You know, did you if you had questions, comments, write but us. You know what you could do? So you could bring me the computer and I could read some of it real quick. I could you could hand me the computer and I could Can put I it move right that before I plop it? Sure. There. We could just put the computer here, and I could read some of the All chat. Right. I'll put my glasses on. I can read some of the chat. All right, so. Let's brush out a hand. I don't want paint all over my computer. Happy Easter, everybody. White Fang, now my rains are shutting down. Need sleep. Sorry, White Fang. We just, um, we're just. This was really a spur of a moment. We didn't think we, we were going to do you it. You know, we, we almost didn't do this on, an, on a Easter Sunday because I it, guess it's Easter. But we really appreciate you guys hanging in there with us. Um, we had 120-something. And, and and people say that they loved it. Christine, Christine's our big fan in England. We really appreciate your support. Great job, John and Ginger. Happy Easter. Highly recommend her website. I'm so excited to have joined recently. Yeah, Tonya, we're really excited that you joined too. We're so glad you did. And you can just kind of see. You know, in our videos, my step-by-step -step videos, there's not a John next to me. But, I mean, I do it this way. Just to tell you every step of the way how to do stuff. And some of our videos are, you know, three, four hours long on our website, which is kind of cool, right? <laughs> so thank you for Happy too. Easter. Thanks, John and Ginger. Did you get the card? Frisky Christy, uh, did we get the card? We didn't got a, we did Nothing not yet. get a card yet, Frisky. But I appreciate Frisky, you saying Frisk, but we, <laughs> Frisky. Christy. We, <laughs> <laughs> you just kill me. <laughs> Kim Sim Sim, Kim Song Sung, I don't think she's on the night. Monica, <laughs> they all thank you. Uh, Lucy McDonald, first time for chatting with you from Bonnie, Scotland. Isn't this amazing? Bonnie, Scotland? Bonnie, Scotland, yeah. I've never been to Bonnie, Scotland. Oh, well, yeah, you Scotland. know what? Uh, uh, one of my favorite TV Scotland. shows uh, a few years ago was... Um, about this castle, these this was a, it was an English show, and it was uh, about these guys that lived in the Scottish castle. It was cool as can be. Scotland's really pretty. Thanks for sharing with us, Ginger and John. Forgot your, oh, uh, Patrick uh, says I, I forgot your painting is pretty. Sherry Davis says I love this. Want to try it? Please do more of these. It helps when I see John. Thanks again. Yeah, I think it does help. If you haven't caught him, we, we've we've got this is like the sixth episode. Go back and watch the first sixth one. episode. Six episodes getting a little long. <laughs> are you are you focused on what you're doing here? Kind okay. of. And then um, I understand Scotland's in bloom. Scotland is in bloom today. Laura Cass says, "Hey, Laura, I want to thank you guys and um, thanks, Ginger. Your painting's beautiful. I think they kind of came out, you know, guys. I'm kind of excited. Where did you put my painting? Put it right up there. Well, they you can't can, see it. You, uh, I can see it." <laughs> Okay, they can't see it. Here, if I put it over here, they can see it. Wait they can see it over here? Yeah. Okay, there. See, All right. Well, if you scroll back up, oh, you yeah. can see the scroll. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, scroll back up. I didn't think to do that. All right, I can see what we're seeing now. See. Oh, oh, I got it. Okay, John. I'm just so dense here. Okay. <laughs> All right, I see what we're seeing. So you see what we're seeing, the, sh the shadow on the uh. gate, the pink flowers. Now, here's an interesting thing. After I showed him how to do this gate... You know what the rule of thumb is? You should always have a gate that's open. You really shouldn't have a gate that's closed. It sort of closes people off from the view. And I had publishers, we like this, but we wish your gate was open. But I think when we're starting out, it's okay to have a closed gate. But it's just, a lot easier just, to paint. It's a lot easier <laughs> to paint. But just keep in mind that that's what they say. Any idea what we're painting tomorrow? No clue. Not a clue. It's not tomorrow. It's not tomorrow yet, man. I just, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. I've been painting... I'll let you guys in on a big secret. Want to hear it? Really big secret. Don't tell anybody, though. Oh, happy Easter. Here's the secret. Hi, Teresa. Um, uh, <laughs> what was the secret? Oh, yeah. There was something about her. She wrote something today, didn't she? Yeah, about the um, the, the, the um, uh, proposal. <laughs> we didn't have the proposal up. There was no image yeah, for yeah, the proposal. But, 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 I, but she told us, and so then I got it up on uh, Pinterest. And yeah. I pinned, if you haven't done checking, if you've been sending me stuff on on Facebook, I've got a lot of new pins up on our Pinterest board. I don't know if you guys get notifications of that or not. Let's see what else. Um, oh, yeah, the secret. I was going to tell you a secret. John and I are taking vacation in May. We're really? Going to, yeah. We're going to, I didn't we're, know that. Well, remember for my uh, birthday, he got, got me that cruise ship cruise. Remember that? I got your cruise ship. I, he got I me tried the it, baby. I know. He got me the cruise. Well, we're, that, that cruise is in, um, is in May. 
So what I've been doing like crazy is making pre-making videos to put up while we're gone. We won't be live for two weeks in May, but we'll have videos up to watch every week. They'll be released. So I've been doing that, making sure that our members, our members get a new video every week. And we've been sort of on a still life kick here, so we had to change some stuff over. <laughs> and uh, that's good. Oh, John, that's good. That, that's awesome. That looks great. Doesn't that look great? Look at you. Look at you go. What if you connected a couple of those? What if, what if, what if, what if I did? What, what if some of those flowers were slightly connected to another flower? Just saying, right? So that you don't, you don't touch too many of this <laughs> cloning. Just at this point. Look up, at, look up what you've got. That's good. Now stop. I but like it's it. fine. I know. It's just that because it's hard. People say, when do you put your brush down? Put your Ginger brush down. Ginger never go, does. Put, put your brush down. Go walk She away goes down. to sleep with her brush in her hand. I, you know, here, don't do what I, you know, what I do, do, do what I said. <laughs> <laughs> so my mother used to say that, right? Uh, that what else she used to say. She just to, she say that, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just a terrible person. As if that would excuse it, you know. You, all right. You're welcome to go with me, Frisky. My next one is until November. All right. Well, you guys, we're really happy. Thanks, Sharon. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Sharon Puff. We got your um, we got your letter, by the way, Sharon. Your painting is on its way. Leaving Monday. It'll, it's leaving Monday. It's leaving Monday, Sharon. Your painting. So thanks very much. We got everything, and um, yeah, uh, it looks pretty darn good. I think this looks pretty awful. So we're just gonna pretty go awful. Through. Thank you very awesome. much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I work hard like this. That looks really pretty awful. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> I spent five awful. hours on this. This is pretty awful. <laughs> this is this how you treat all your students? I've been awesome. I'm just tired now. It's been, it's been. Can it's, you do a sunset of natural colors? No, we do not. We do gingerize everything. There is no natural colors in our palette. Yeah, well, listen, we already have <laughs> photographs of the real deal. When you want to come into, this is Gingerland, where everything is just a Gingerland, right? Here to Disneyland, this is Gingerland, Ginger gingerland. Gardens. We love Ginger Gardens, Gingerland, that's what we like. And uh, you get a lot of that. And so we think this was this came out pretty nifty. I hope you think so, pretty too. Pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. And we're going to say goodnight, you guys. For say goodnight, bye. you guys. Uh, bye, everybody. Bye, Rhonda. Bye, Carol. Bye, Anne. And Keel, I, and you always write the nicest things. Thanks, by the way. November Bye. 26th. On, no, we have one in October, 14 day or. Yeah. And um, you know, uh, oh, they're taking uh, they're taking a November Carnival Dream. So Tony's uh, taking a cruise in November. So I hope this was fun. John's going to get behind me and go ahead and turn mm -hmm. off the. Going and we're going to just leave this up for a second. Um, just because we want you to see it. I'm going to move the computer out of the way. Well, Thank here, you. Let me, um, here, you want to take it with you? Yeah, let me take the computer away from you. Yeah, he's taking the computer away from me, and I'm just going to just kind of straighten these up a little bit so you can see. I think the purple paper was nice with this, don't you guys think? So that was a great touch. Look at the purple paper. These are kind of Easter colors, don't you think so? I this is very... Oh, yeah. look how these go together. Look how these go together. Look at that. Yeah, all right. That turn those look. Face off. Yeah, look at that. Look, kind of his like a condo, his and her flower gardens, right? Yeah, slide up just a little bit more. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. But just put them like that so you can well, kind of see them. Right together. That's what I'm saying. That's that, them almost together. Yeah, you, you know, it would take very little. I'm just saying it would take very little. To make this like his and her, you know, like the, you know, the... His and her thing. His and her thing. <laughs> Whatever, right? Good night, everyone. Good night. And then I think a, a lantern up here on the gate would have been cute uh. up here. And you could, you could have done some stuff, man. All right. Good night. Bye. Thanks. Happy Easter.